Hello, hello, everybody. Today, we are going to be continuing our Breath of the Wild adventures. Last time, we basically went and uh, did a bit of things. I believe we got all the other towers up and done, except for this one, because that is the frozen hills of hell. And we did not have... Uh, proper equipment to be in there forever. Also, I just realized that <laughs> no idea why this tower is like, oh yeah, can't see any of this, but over here we can see that. I don't know. That just, that seems odd to me. That's a weird choice, but uh, you do you, Wasteland Tower. <laughs> you do you. But uh, we went in, went into the Rito Village. The Rito Village is so nice, full of a lot of people who are kind of a little depressed and worried about the giant demon bird above them. We met the village elder, who's like a big ol' owl. <laughs> we also discovered uh, Cass's journal of the various places he'll go for uh, shrine songs, I assume. And then while we were, like, climbing to the Wasteland Tower, it became a blood moon. And we couldn't get back here in time. So we'll have to hope there'll be a blood moon today. I also did a little bit of resource gathering. I just decided to go ahead and grab the warm cephalina or whatever it's called. So we can upgrade my Rito fashion to the second thing. It probably won't even have a level 2 set bonus, but oh well. Then we'll just go maybe go do that one, I think, shrine quest that the young Rito child gave to us about her grandparents, or like grandpa, singing her a song of like... Or was it a song? It was just more like the story of how he went up to a tree on the mountain, saw a big weird bird, flew up and saw it swallow something, but the young child did not remember what it is that he said because she would always fall asleep at that point, and then implied that her grandpa is dead, which is sad. Also, just realized, of course you would have cuckoos. You fairies are kind of evil. Hello, hello. Uh. Also, that phrase, fragrance of a young man mm. nearby. Disturbing. Hmm. Hopefully. I should have enough uh. warm cephalina unless it jumps up. And like, surprise, you need five for one of them. <laughs> so we should at least get to level two. No idea what level three will have. I... Or like, demand. More, please. Mm. Uh. I'll have just enough warm cephalina. Mm. Hopefully. <laughs> da, 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 da. I wonder what uh. made them think to use the great fairies as the armor upgraders. Come to think of it. Mm. Because it actually does work. That way it's not like, oh, you go to like a blacksmith and they know how to upgrade your hood to withstand more damage. And plus they don't even have to like worry about like, uh, what's the word? Adding on anything to the diddly dees. Oh, we can. Oh, we have, might have enough, maybe. Oh yeah, and this is gonna be the big ol' smooch. Her lips even kind of do a Pac-Man as she comes in for the upgrade smooch from YouTube. Hello, hello. How are you today? We're starting off the stream by upgrading my Rito fashion because, of course, please. Jesus Christ, we're going to have just enough, it looks like. The Pac-Man lips of upgrading. Uh, 
plus having them super upgraded, will we actually be able to? Hell yeah! Full uh, Rito fashion in good. Mm. Now we can wear these anywhere. It would be hilarious if, like, you get it all the way to level four, and it's like, now you're lava proof. You underflowed cold resistance so much, you have heat resistance too. That will be it for me. Now I just have to wonder where the other last fairy will be. And the exorbitant price I'll have to pay to access her spring. And then the further exorbitant prices I'll have to pay to... Hmm, I'm just trying to think. I mean, I guess I could just not even bother to teleport, just follow the trail there myself. Why not? Because let's see. If I remember correctly, the first fairy was 100 rupees. The second fairy was... 500 rupees, so in a way, I guess she was, like, I guess expected to be my second fairy fountain by that guy. Considering that the guy gives you a... Blah, blah, blah. In fact, speaking of that, where even was that one guy? I think he was over here. Let's actually head back and see if we can talk to him and be like, hey, I, I gave your life savings to the fairy. By the way... I guess while we're moving around, I should probably put on my ninja clothes so that we can actually pick up random animals along the way. If only I could pay exorbitant prices to, like, put a set bonus onto other clothes so I could truly be fashion souls. Or again, like, uh, just have, what is it called, armor set quick select like you do with weapons. That would be nice. Because then I could be like, ah, warm darners, slip, uh, swap to my ninja outfit, grab it and swap back. Maybe it would be a bit difficult because depending on how they, like, designed it. Hmm, do we want to fight these guys? There's a treasure chest. But I don't think I need resources. We'll leave them alone as we make our way back to that stable. Yeah, depending on how they, like, uh, made the models and the game and everything. Like, it might be a bit <laughs> difficult. Maybe. I'm just trying to think. Then again, there's not that much difference than coming in here and swapping it. So, it probably shouldn't have been that bad. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. There's a... There's guardians up here. We're gonna have to climb up there. I should have stayed with the fairy. I forgot that there were going to be guardians up here. I just figured, oh, I would go back to the stable guy and maybe say, hey, I did what you asked of me. I didn't run away with your money, oh trusting man who gave me your life savings to give to a <laughs> mystical fairy spirit that you never will even see with your own eyes. Da, da. It'll be interesting to eventually play one of the older Zelda games, because I do intend to do that. Like, play Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, Wind Waker, Twilight Princess. And, like, compare the music. Because while there... I think that's one thing. Like, the other Zeldas have, like, a lot of music a lot of the time. Like, Hyrule Field... Da -da 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 just like as you're out and about. While here, it's wind! Fucking windy. So it would be interesting to like compare and contrast it all. What the hell are even are you? Oh, you're just a bush. Flopping around. <laughs> Huh, that actually hit. Wasn't expecting that. Any topics to discuss? I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. I'm 
Nothing's coming to mind right now. I guess one thing that's always kind of on my mind is the baffling treatment of Waluigi by the Nintendo company. Like, it's just weird how underutilized he is compared to the others in that, like, pseudo-quartet. Considering that Wario was, like, created to be this evil shadow of Mario in, like, Mario and the Six Coins, I think it was? Mario and the Six Golden Coins or something like that? And then for Mario Tennis on the N64, they made Waluigi as the shadow of Luigi, but even never really delved into that. And also, like, uh, was only really made to be Walu or Wario's, like, a. Uh, partner for the tennis game and then was just kind of used here or there but like he never he's never gotten his own game which I guess to be fair it took until the switch for poor poor Princess Peach to get her second game but it's just odd that like he hasn't even appeared Waluigi hasn't even appeared in, like, WarioWare, I don't think. Uh, you'd think that, out of anything, he would appear in maybe the Mario RPGs as a weird antagonist, or appear in the Wario games. Like, I don't know, Wario Shake It, WarioWare, just something, but no! Waluigi only appears now in the other, like, general we need a group of characters spin-off games and then the one Mario DDR Mario mix as the tutorial boss I just feel sorry for the guy I feel like there's a lot of potential that could be used for him I did what you asked man <laughs> all right thank you looks like asking you is a good call after all so that means you met the f great fairy huh man I'm so jealous <laughs> But hey, at least you got to meet her. And that means technically I got to make my offering to the Great Fairy. I can't thank you enough. Forgetting something? I'm gonna break your kneecaps. <laughs> uh, huh? Um, no, I don't think so. Wait, what? You aren't trying to tell me you want a reward, are you? I'm the hero of Hyrule. And if you want me to be the hero of your kneecaps, pay up. Oh, you got to see the Great Fairy thanks to my tip, didn't you? And now you're asking for more! Wow, he even shakes of anger. Ah, oh, great fairy. Even if it's just in my dreams, would you appear before me? He actually withstood us. He said, no, I shall not give you more money. It was his life savings. What did Link expect? Hmm, trying to think. I guess I could just, yeah, climb over the mountain. I shall go climb over the mountain. But I'm going to put my Rito drip back on. Because it is nice and fancy. <laughs> also, I don't even think that, like, Waluigi has even appeared in any of the, like, three Luigi's Mansion games. You'd think that, like, for being Luigi's shadow, that they would try to use him in some capacity. But Waluigi is just severely underutilized, I swear. He has potential, Nintendo. My joke answer is, he should be Nintendo's answer to Kratos. He should be their god of war. A Waluigi 3D... Hack and slash beat him up would be hilarious. <laughs> Do you know any original Lego series like Ninjago and other TV series from Lego? I think there was like that, uh, what was it? Kid Monkey King or something? <laughs> Where like Sean Schimmel, Goku plays Sun Wukong 
and is like mentoring this like young lad to be like his pupil and it's just a 2d lego animated show it's like it's one of those things that you kind of go why is this lego and why is it awesome I've yet to watch it, but it does seem interesting. Other shows and stuff like, oh, Bionicle. I remember being really drawn to Bionicle, even though I never watched it or, like, I had some... Well, that's a little ominous. They put the family into the hole. But I had a few Bion Bionicle myself, mostly just inherited of, like, Oh, I no longer care for Bionicle, and I need to downsize here, child. Have Bionicle. And I know there's, like, Bionicle movies and Bionicle games. I think, actually, Bionicle has, like, a spiritual successor or, like, a redesign that came out or, like, was announced recently or something. But yeah, it's just interesting that Lego has so many TV shows that just exist when it's like, it's Lego. And most of the time, at least from what I've seen, it doesn't even have much to do with, like, your typical Lego stuff. It's not, oh, we are Lego and must build. It is, we are Lego, but we're also martial arts ninjas and we need to fight th 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 that godlike being although I also have a little bit of a chip on my shoulder when it comes to Lego TV shows because if I remember correctly way way back in like 2011 to 2012 there was a Thundercats reboot to try and be like bringing Thundercats in for a new age, tell a story, have action. And then, like, Cartoon Network was kind of tech. Oh, it's very bad. Uh, hello. Stone Callus of Hell. Was not expecting you. I will just. Don't know how much damage we'll be able to do. Um, go down. Go down. Aha! Fool what you are. I'll get back to my uh, story soon! Yeah, you didn't do much damage. I did a lot of upgrading. Fool! I climbed your ass. Let's see. I have lots of stamina. I don't have to fear you. You're less scary than a Hinox. Yeah, you dropped a Topaz. That'll be great. Topazes are kind of rare for me. Shit! Congratulations. Your attack did about as much damage as a roll down a hill. Now you stop that. So I can climb you. I gotta say, you were more well hidden than uh, most stone taluses I think of. So, uh, congratulations. But back to my story. In 2011 to 2012, they were making a Thundercats reboot. Kind of anime-esque, but trying to be like, uh, ah, action adventure. As most people would associate with, uh, classical Thundercats. But then... Like, uh, midway through, like, making the second season, some episodes were, like, fully animated. Like, uh, Lego approached Cartoon Network and was like, hey, make a show based off of this, like, uh, new Lego toy line we want to make. And because Cartoon Network's, like, current toys that they were making for Thundercats sucked so much... They decided to cancel Thundercats 2011, 
so that they would instead produce that Lego show so Lego could create the toys and they could share in profits. And so I've had slight agitation towards Lego ever since. Like, I understand from a business perspective that, like, cartoons and stuff are mostly, like, product-driven. A lot of their money comes from merchandise sales. But at the same time, companies are dumb and are like, Oh no, our DC animated show that we made to target to, like, young teenage boys has miraculously attained like an upper teenage girl and woman like pro demographic we'll have to cancel the show rather than pivot our damn merchandise yeah and then netflix picked it up in like one of the few netflix w's that exist And then to add insult to injury, poor, poor Thundercats fans were left to starve until, like, I don't know, 2016, 2017, when Thundercats Roar was announced or something, and it was just, like, not Thundercats at all. It was, like, another show with Thundercats skin poorly draped over the character designs. And then just people were oddly rabid in their attempts to defend Thundercat's roar. Even going as far as to slander the name of Thundercat's 2011. It was cancelled because it didn't do well. No, it was cancelled because of Lego and toy sales. Get it right, you fiends. But from YouTube chat? Oh yeah, Lego Monkey Kid. I've seen some video clips online from that show. Also heard it's very popular. It does seem like it has, like, a decent fan base. And from what I've seen, the animation's actually pretty good. It's just kind of funny that it's just, like, out of everything. <laughs> like, a 2D animated, like... Also, that's a thing. You'd think that Lego would be perfect for, like, 3D animation. And they're just like, no. We shall make it 2D. Which, hey, 2D animation, we could always use more of that. You know, I just thought of something. I don't think we ever, there ever has been a Lego Monkey Kid, like, animation. Or, like, not animation, but like a Lego Monkey Kid game. Considering its popularity, you'd think that they would, like, try. Because I think that would be a pretty decent thing. People seem to like it. It's about, like, martial arts. Alright, so do not waste my big meat on simple hearty truffle. Note to self. <laughs> and also about the VA for Sung Wukong should be Goku. Sean Shemal. If I do remember his name. Yep, Son Goku from Dragon Ball is inspired from the Monkey King. As is a lot of things. Like, uh, Journey to the West is like... Story inspiration central. When it comes to like... That kind of East Asia area. Just people love... Love... Journey to the West over there. Granted, Journey to the West is also, like, a really big piece of literature, so it kind of makes sense. Like, why? You get something big that's very popular, then bam, a lot of people are going to draw inspiration from it. It's just more things draw some inspiration from it than others, like, Goku... Like, decently is a recreation of the Monkey King to a degree. He's just not a pseudo-godlike figure trying to attain, like, spirituality by going on a journey. Like, it's extra funny, because, like, Sung Wukong, 
the big, big character from Journey to the West, but, like, isn't the main character. That goes to Tripitaka, or at least Tripitaka's supposed to be the main, like, character. He's the one, the Buddha. Well, I guess not the Buddha. I think it's like, uh, some holy spirit. It's like, hey, you, monk who's a reincarnation of a thing called the golden cicada. Maybe it was a person. Maybe it actually was a cicada that was gold. Nobody knows. This is like ancient Chinese literature. I don't even know when the Journey to the West was written. I shall steal your spear and uh, throw you to hell. No, I said throw you to hell. Oh yeah, but another reason why I have, like, a decent level of spite towards Thundercat's roar. And that's because they basically had a quote-unquote visual gag that was essentially making fun of the death of a, like, actual voice actor from the original show who was, like, not involved with anything ever. He was just the voice actor for a character that relatively recently to the production of Roar died. And so they're like, now we're gonna put the desiccated skeletal corpse of that voice actor's character in the background of the cave of Nobody Cares in their big ol' spite special crossover with, of all things, <laughs> Teen Titans Go. The other big thing of Cartoon Network. <laughs> Sadly, I only cook for myself. I don't have anyone I really cook for. I hope that wasn't too personal a question. When I cook dinner for my daughters, I sometimes wonder what the future holds for this village, for my family. My thoughts tend to grow a bit dark then, but they lighten as soon as I satisfy my hunger. So go ahead and use the pot. A full stomach will do you well. Thank you, lady. Let's see. Oh, yeah. I should... <laughs> I got uh, completely stuck. I guess we'll go up there, do that. Then we'll go and try to do that. I just saw an autopilot rambling. Hmm. I wonder what the purpose of this design is to have it be, like, open at the top. Maybe so that the... Rito people can fly up to the top and look out as an alternative to windows. <laughs> Another thing about the journey to the west, the Monkey King himself is not the protagonist. Yep, that's what I said. Tripitaka the Monk, who basically is the originator of the damsel in distress trope for all intents and purposes. It's like every other chapter is him being captured by a demon and must be saved. Although, to be fair, the Monkey King also was, like, technically the protagonist for, like, five, six, seven chapters at the beginning. Like, it begins with, like, his life, how he was born from a rock egg. And, like, how he attained, like, pseudo-enlightenment. And his ability to transform and stuff. How he came into contact with, like, the heavenly court. Went to war with them. Got captured. They attempted to execute him. They failed. Hello, Traveler of evil Yiga clan, probably. I've dealt with you in the past. And then it, like ends, or like, that section of the story ends with Sung Wukong. Well, actually, I don't think he's called Sung Wukong by then. I think he's just the Monkey King. I forget. Rude. Do not kill the, the snow fox. Snowballs. That's very rude. 
darn. You got just out. There we go. Terrible picture, but we'll do it. But yeah, then that section of the story ends with the Monkey King being trapped under a giant mountain placed there by the Buddha himself. And he only returns to the story when uh, Tripitaka comes into the picture. <laughs> Silly ancient literature. I'll poke you to death. And then throw a bomb. Pick up your weapon. Not even use it to kill you. How dare you give me a tongue lashing. Death rattle. Fiend. I'm trying to climb the snowy mountain of hell. So we can see what old Grandpa Rito saw. Oh, I was wondering what that was like. That's not a Lizalfos. What are you? It's an icy, like, young uh, stone talus. Up we go. Up we go. I guess that's like warning. That way be monsters. Like, literally, they're right there. Let's see, what shall we smack you with? So long as you, oh, well, we, <laughs> ah, hmm, hmm. We can't, uh, huh, I wonder. Oh, wait, set bonus on freezable. We cannot be frozen. I wonder. I will slightly try to, nope, that, that we are gonna freeze, Dune. Well, since we're going to pseudo-freeze, let's go ahead and put uh, all the set on. I'll take some freeze damage after killing this guy. And his friend. And now we shall become unfreezable once more. I like that these guys just, like, advertise, like, we be monsters campfire up here. From YouTube chat, hello, hey there, Neon, hello, hello. We be climbing a mountain because this should be a shrine quest that a young Rito girl told us about. Because it was a story her grandpa told her. How he came up here long ago. Got to a tree way up there. Also, high moose. Apparently, climbing mountains is in your blood. And he saw, like, a giant white bird swallow something. And apparently, it's a shrine quest. So, we're going to try and go up there. And then, we'll try to finish off the map. And then, see about helping the Rito village. <laughs> yep. Sung Wukong is like many, many times different kinds of immortal, which is just hilarious. If there's anybody out there that wants to know more about the journey to the west but doesn't want to pick up a translation of the book, highly recommend the, like, uh, tales, or uh, story, blah, blah, what is it? Journey to the west like, summarized by overly sarcastic productions. They are very good. Well illustrated and funny. Cuts out some adventures, but... <laughs> saves you on the reading time. And remember, everybody, while you climb a freezy mountain while being unfreezable, uh, stay hydrated. You know, I just had a weird, like, thought, like, what if there was, like, somebody who was unfreezable? And they're like, I'm gonna drink some water. They drink the water, but the water that is now inside them is freezable. That would be very uncomfortable. Like, imagine you're drinking water, and as you drink it, it starts to freeze within you. 
nightmarish, ain't it? Want to pick up that? I wanted to bomb it twice, but it took a bit for it to pull out the other bomb. How dare you! Up we climb. Up we climb. Granted, we're probably missing a bunch of stuff by by climbing instead of going all the way, but then the snow slows me down a bit. I'm trying to get up here without my... <laughs> by trying to get up here faster would still take a long time if we don't climb. Besides... That makes me wonder. Do the... Well, I guess the Rito don't really have to worry too much about freezing weather. They have feathers. This outfit I'm wearing is kind of made out of their feathers. To the diddly dee, the diddly da. So is domain. We still need to look for her. Oh, I guess it's shrine quest. Once upon a time, my grandpa stopped at a big tree while he was climbing a big mountain and looked down below him to the northwest. He suddenly saw a huge snow white birdie of its wings spread wide. My grandpa took off and flight flying after the snow white birdie and as he got a closer he saw grandpa saw something super important inside his belly to the northwest you said all right north west why are you doing here and i got rid of the tree damn you Come on. Where'd you even come from? Heathenous being. Well, I guess that's like, this is more, that's more like west. This is northwest. Hope I didn't need that tree. Ominous to see it moving. Hmm. It's like the most I can think is that maybe that like snow area is meant to kind of look like wings. But I don't think so. Hmm. I do not know. Again, I probably needed that damn tree. Why have an Octorok up here? Bastards. Very rude. Overly sarcastic production. Love that channel. Make great content history mythology. Yep. And then I also really like their, like, trope talks. So it's just lots of good things on... Overly sarcastic productions. Oh, yeah, northwest, she said, which is kind of, kind of this direction already. I'm just trying to think. Funny is just like no, it doesn't go to the the lone cedar tree. It goes to the one that told us about it. 
Because I'm fairly certain that this is... Because I did mark it the moment she told me about it. So I assume that I have, like, the correct thing. <laughs> From YouTube chat. Hi, hello, hello. I'm trying to figure out this here. Shrine quest. Could be I'm blind. Misinterpreting things. No, that's just textures. Hmm. Like, I can only assume that my initial thing is... That, like, that is kind of meant to be... The bird, because again, that kind of looks like a wing, so I'll fly towards it and see. Because, like, either that's a very odd texturing or that's very intentional. And plus, it's kind of in that, but it's kind of more to the west. I don't even know what it means by, like, inside its belly. What the fuck? fuck's going on over here? Here I come. God from hell. Why use weapons? Win can bomb. But dear, dear God, you guys are just actually full of weapons and shields. I'm just wondering why there were so many of you. All in a circle. Oh, and you do a lot of damage. Off we go to heal up. Now that I'm on rocks, my natural environment Mom! Mom! Chase me up this mountain if you dare! Take them all out! One by one! Yeah, go flying! I shall use this instead. Uh, turn it off. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, do I want to drop a shield? I can drop you. They always miss with their kicks, I swear. Darn, keep missing. Your face was way out in front of your shield. Well, I guess you have great shield reflexes, I suppose. Also, game, that is not what I wanted to do. <laughs> I wanted to run backwards, and it's just like, no, you shall do a pirouette. Shall whistle away at you, because I can. How do you fear my power? Up there in the mountains. Having a... Just a hunch over time. Almost annihilating me. I thought like, eh, hey, I'll blow him up and come on down. It'll be a perfect time. <laughs> it was in fact not a perfect time. <laughs> 300 rupees. Nice. <laughs> I guess that was worth it. I got a load of materials. Kind of disturbing that the guts continue to squall. Oh. I guess that's technically within a, within the belly. But still, it doesn't totally look like a bird. Why is there a guardian on the bird? It's almost a miracle that that 
Rito Child's grandpa returned. Mozo Shino. What shall be inside? It is a shrine quest, but I don't think all shrine quests are just get in, we'll give you the stuff. Because this seems like one that you might be able to stumble upon on your own. Maybe. So what'll it be? A give? Or a do? Ah, it's a pain! Let me guess, major combat. Major test of strength, oh boy. Let's see... Bah, bah. Alrighty. Guess I'll use these and this. And then if it does, like, major damage to me, I have more good old skiers. I'm guaranteed like three things from you. Oh, there are no, uh. Well, that's just rude. How dare. Get smacked, idiot. Why do flurries when I can just smack you to death? Darn. I got greedy. I tried to do my flippy flip. Not come out. Did that probably should have hit me? That one, you have a horrible aim. If I want to get greedy. There we go, greed time. I have. Big old moblin clubs for days. That's not. I wanted to dodge to the side. Thank you very much, game. I wanted to go to the side, not just stump in place. Ah, you're gonna make me spin to win again, little Bim. Ha ha! I got that tip from my chat. It's working out quite well. Because before I just figured, oh, I'll just get out of the way. Because it just feels like something that's like, oh, uh, you're going to zoom zoom. Darn, I was trying to get preemptive jump and fly in. But yeah, whenever I saw like the spinny spin attack from these guys, I always thought like, oh, I need to get out of the way. Like, it doesn't make much sense to me to be able to, like, dodge into that kind of attack, but, eh, what do I know? I'm a fool. I'm gonna go, oh, wait, no, uh, are you gonna charge up? Okay. <laughs> I had to make sure, it was like, either it was gonna be spinny spin, or it was gonna be it, uh, like, a different kind of spinny spin, I guess. The spinny spin laser. Or it was gonna charge up to murder me! With its rapid fire cannon attacks. I think you're gonna charge that up now. Yep. Well, if I can't do enough damage in time. Run! And now beat you to death. Please die. Whew. Got up the ancient gears. Is there anything we want to drop for you? Keep you. Well, I guess I have the big flame sword. 
Hmm. Just trying to think, because you're like 25, right? No. Well, you're around that, I'm fairly certain. Let's see. It's 20. I guess I'll take a guardian spear. I mostly use that flame sword for just lighting my campfires anyway. Become unfreezable. Ooh, a diamond! You know, after uh, unlocking the ability to just get diamonds nearly whenever I want from Zora's domain, <laughs> that becomes far less special. I just need the proper grinding routes for luminous stones, and I can get as many diamonds as I want. Da. One more, and I'll be able to get another either heart or stamina vessel. These enemies are doing lots of damage, but usually I can just tank one hit, pause, go into my super revitalization meals. All right. Next thing is we will... I forget why I kept that there. I think I just forgot to take it off. But now we're going to head that way to see if we can get the final tower. Now that we can withstand any cold. No matter the cold, no matter what told, we can rule the world. Da 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 da. And of course it's raining over here because it wants to rain on my parade. Life is but a hellish fuck. I wonder how much stamina you'd need to, like, climb the highest point in the game while it was raining. Because you can kind of do that, like, uh, kind of climb, kind of climb, jump, and you make more progress than you lose. Because you can't just spam, like, climb or just climb normally. Hopefully, uh, by the time we make it over, it'll stop. I think that, uh... I forget where I went in last time. So if I remember correctly, like, that direction is like the man-made thunderbolt. I mean, I guess I could go, like, find an overhang and wait out the storm with, uh... Yep. With a campfire. Also, there are metal blocks in the floor itself. It's there to lift them up and uh, with Magnesis Rune as makeshift defense pillars. I've n I did not know that. <laughs> I didn't think that that would ever be a thing. Huh. I wonder who the first person was that discovered that, like, they accidentally used Magnesis in a combat trial. And they're like, oh, I didn't mean to do that. What do you mean the floor is magnizable? I'll have to keep an eye for that next time. Because yeah, it seems that the rain should let up in like an hour-ish game time, so we can try and make climb time. And plus, if we get over here deep enough, maybe it'll just turn to an entire blizzard, so I'll still be able to climb. And uh, the weather's saying it should be letting up. Either the weather is lie, or it's taking a while for it to recognize the authority of the weather counter. I can hardly see. Hello, coyotes. <laughs> Bomb. 
through the power of bomb, I beseech you die. Ba da 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 da. And we grab the rush room. I think there's a quest to be like, hey, bring me like 50 rush rooms or something. Because that guy's a psychopath looking for his next eye. We'll run into him eventually, I'm sure. We'll just have to go by one of the, the stables eventually. Up we climb! So we're trying to make our way to that, because... Just see, it'll probably be another shrine, all things considered. Either that or we'll awaken Zeus. Then along came Zeus. He hurled that thunderbolt. Killed me. Legend of Zelda, but instead of Ganon coming back, it's the Greek pantheon. Which just gave me, like, the story idea of, like... An evil pantheon of gods, but there are a few good gods among them. And so, the only way to defeat all the evil gods is to seal the entire pantheon away, including the good gods. So in a way, the good gods waking up, it's like the worst thing ever, because like, oh no, now all the evil people are out too. Hello, Farosh. I don't even think it's possible for me to get up to you in time. I don't think I need any materials from you. And if I really wanted to, I could probably easily just uh, go to a Hyrule Lake, or Lake Hylia, that's what it is. And just farm all your stuff there. You know, I've used probably only a handful of ladders since I started playing this game. Very rude. I don't even care about your materials. Be gone. And I'm gonna die! Never mind, I live, bitch. How dare you magnet around. I'll just blow these guys up so they annoy me less. That didn't even do any of my red heart damage. <laughs> Stupid skeletons. I am invincible! To my own stupidity, I guess. Wow, oh, there's even a heat vent here, I guess. To launch you up. We shall use the heat vents. Hmm, let's see. Ah, uh, it's, it's not the super duper club. Get rid of you. Their dead bodies can hurt me? I call hell. I want to call hell and say, give me a refund on my insurance policy. We go to the man-made thing. I assume this is what you want me to do. All right, fine. I'll get closer. Like, I better not actually have to be in the air, because that's like, I don't think that's possible to make with a bow. Although, like, <laughs> the vent should be here, rather than over there. I should be making these shots with this. Alright, we're gonna get absolutely as close as possible. Nope, they want you to be in the air. This is bullshit! Ok, 
Okay, nope, this one's just better. That's weird. Aha, I lived. And also, that didn't work. What do you mean they put a thunderbolt thing on the platform with, like, wings around it, and they're like, no. We don't actually want you to hit it with lightning. What the hell do you mean, game? I'm fairly certain this is also another shrine quest. They have the cliffside etchings. What could be hiding there? I don't know. Bullshit, apparently. Because, like, it's thunderbolts with, like, wings. So it assumes, like, ah, be in the air, shoot. But it didn't work. Let's try again. Okay, just very picky then. Because I hit it with one bed dead on. That's just weird. It's very odd. <laughs> you only get one shot even though we put four winged arrow things. You to chat. Hey, Neon, there's this debate I've seen online discussing about Sans's 1 HP. Will he literally die if he stubs his toe on hard objects? Probably not. It's probably just, uh, like, uh, like, uh, it's hard to, like, quantify overall because of the abstract, like, way Undertale presents certain things in a gamified aspect, even though the entire game, or, like, the entire world is kind of a game due to the execution points and love and stuff. But more than likely, that 1 HP is in relation to his, like, combat HP. Or it could even be in relation... Well, maybe. It could also even be in relation to, like, the power of the player at that time. Since you're at such a point, any attack you do... Well, no, because I think you can analyze... Megaton... Or, uh... What is it? Metaton. And that'll give you more stats than Sans, but... I'm trying to think. But yeah, overall, it's probably just... A representation of his combat health, rather than his actual health. Everything else could be crazy. Ah, we did that. And now we just need to climb on up and look for the Dilladon Tower up in here. and grab these while they're here, because why not? Free resources along the way. Whoop. Because if we do this, we will have finished out the map of the world. Even though there's probably, like, hardly anything up here in this frozen wasteland. But I really do enjoy Undertale. Undertale is a very good game. I need to eventually get around to Deltarune Chapter 1 and 2. Heard very good things about those. So it'll be very interesting to experience them. Why does the game keep spawning skeletons right when I'm climbing up a cliff? Feck off. Is bullshit. Oh, treasure chest. I was like, oh, is that a rock? No, treasure chest. Yeah, you're not going anywhere. Except in my inventory. <laughs> Disturbing little man, aren't you? Heck, I've even thought about maybe replaying... 
Oh, I was wondering what that was. It's the Divine Beast uh, Giant Camel. But I've been thinking about, like, replaying... Buh, 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 Undertale on stream. It's been, like, two years since I streamed it last. A.K.A., like, the first time I played it. So that could be a prove interesting. Like, I kind of assume going this way is important. Also, speaking of important, uh... That is, like, literally a sword. I'm gonna make a note of you. Could be nothing, could be thing. And Whitehorn Lionel. Don't think I want to mess with you. How dare you be very scary. I'll still take a picture of you, but then I need to run. In case you, uh, see me. Cause I don't think I wanna fight ya. Nope. You saw shit? Fucko. Of course I'm going uphill! I'm buying myself time. Goodbye, Satan. <laughs> And of course, when I get to my objective of a big place to look down upon everything, Blizzard rolls in to obscure my goddamn sight. Ah, that's great. Alright, Dan, tell me your honest opinion. Do you think the whole internet made Sans too overrated? Yeah, it depends on what you mean by overrated. And plus, it also depends on, like, where you are on the internet, like... How much you consume and stuff. Overall, I think Sans is fine. He's just like the most notable part of Undertale in a general sense. As he's very interesting, has a lot to like theorize about. There you are. <laughs> Tower sighted. <laughs> and of course, the uh, it starts to uh, ease up uh, right after I... Uh, called it out and said, haha, you bitch, I am the winner of all. Oh, I guess this is where the, like, Gerudo Desert map intrudes upon the snowy place for some reason. Weird. Don't know why, but weird. Well, so this place is interesting. There's a big hole here. And again, it's kind of like obvious on the map, so. Before we get to you, I want to see, because there's something weird at the end here that I want to look at. But overall, I think, like, overrated, to come back to that topic, is just, like, a mix of your own exposure. Also, that is totally a stone talus. Well, I guess an ice talus. You look like ice. Or maybe you're just a snow boulder talus. I have some big ol' axes I can use to smack you, uh, depending on, uh, if I can even grab you. It says I'm unfreezable. So let's see. Let's play with silly games. I am unfreezable. Oh, yeah. Oh. Is that someone I want to do, game? Fuck off. <laughs> Genuinely. Okay, that one's kind of more along the lines of what I wanted to do. Just, uh, I did it improperly. Come on. Ah. Darn it! I didn't want to do a jump attack, I wanted to just smack. Come on, game, let me climb. And I will continue conversation after. There we go. I think it's a little weird to put this here. Come on, game, you put it in a weird location. What do you expect me to do? You shrug and you do damage? What are you, Satan? Do 
you didn't do any damage to me. I guess that was more uh, to try and uh, freeze me, but I am unfreezable. I am unfreezable, you fool. All right, uh, kind of screw you. I was uh, mid-swing <laughs> and like Looney tunes me off of your weak point. I, I find that shenanigans. Quit Looney Tunes in me off of your damn weak point. I want to smack your weak point. I get it, you are a rock. And you want to make interesting, like, uh, weak point places, but this is just uh, an oddity. Mario oddity rather than odyssey. There we go. And now we can go back to uh, talking about uh, overratedness. Oh, hey, a diamond. Nice. But yeah, when it comes to, like, overratedness, it's mostly about your own exposure. Really? Because, like, what even is overrated as a term? Overrated is like, ah, this thing is rated too highly. So it's more like what is being rated here. Are they angry that Sans is popular? Because, again, Sans is the most, like, standout character of Undertale. And that's saying something because Undertale has a lot of standout characters. So personally, I don't find Sans to be overrated. He might have had overexposure... But that's not really a character issue. That's more of like a fandom and self-regulation issue. Even then, I even like, uh... What? Oh. I was like, oh, I see a treasure chest. What the fuck? It disappeared. The mirages took it away. But like, I even have the opinion that I think some people... Use, uh... What's the whip? I think some people use fandom as justification to lob hate at things they don't like. Because there are people like, oh, Undertale's fandom, like, uh, ruined it, and therefore it bad. Like, I don't know. What the hell even is that? Like, I just think some people use fandom... And be like, oh, the fan base is bad. Therefore, I can, like, mock the thing that they're a fan base of. Okay, this is, uh... I know it's on the map, but, uh... Thing. We will come back at a later date, I suppose. Ah, from Twitch chat? Hole in the center of the earth, indeed. Howdy, how are we doing today? Doing good. Upgraded my Rito Drip. We're about to get the final tower to map out everything. Then we're probably going to head back and uh, do the Rito Village. And we also fought our first Frost Talus there. Also, that's another treasure chest, I think. Also, as I was ta uh, responding to YouTube chat on if Sans was too overrated. Of which, usually, I think overrated isn't really a term anymore, because if something is popular, it's going to pop up everywhere, and people just like, oh, it's overrated, when, like, it probably isn't. It's just overexposure. Then again, there can be things that genuinely are overrated, like maybe the Marvel Cinematic Universe. You could probably call that a bit overrated. I see you. Well, that's actually just the Gerudo place, so if I do that, it'll... Oh, I didn't mark it. But I mark it now. I still find it funny. That, like, uh... I wonder what those are. We'll have to check that out. Grab you, check those out, teleport... Jesus fucking Christ, what are you?! Why are you big?! What?! We are hunting down Cass, the, 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 oh, you're right here. Oh, and I guess I can take, turn off the warm Cephalina. 
diddly dee. Hey, Cass. Oh. What if? No, but then. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. Ah, forgive me. I was lost in a song written by my late teacher. He wrote it for the hero who fell to the calamity one hundred years ago. So much time has passed, and yet the hero has not yet returned. But my teacher always kept faith. I hope to play the song for the hero someday, so I practice it often. Oh, oh forgive me. It seems I've prattled on. I know a song about this place. Would you like to hear the ancient verse passed down in this region? Sure, oh. Cass. Sing it to me. Excellent. Without further ado... As light shines from the northwest skies, from the tower's shadow, an arrow flies, pierce heaven's light to reveal the prize. Did not sing that well at all. It's hard to do it when it's just text. You don't know the flow. I still don't quite understand the lyrics, but knowing my teacher, they're key to revealing the secret. Best of luck, and may the light illuminate your path. So it's probably, wait until the, well, actually, let's check it out. As light shines from the northwest skies, from the tower's shadow, an arrow flies, pierce the li heaven's light to reveal the prize. So it's probably, wait until the tower's shadow is, well, let's see, from northwest skies. Yeah, that should work. And I just need to land the arrow there. Need to find the right angle. Badly damaged. I've hardly used it. Okay. When the shadow hits, I need to aim a little below the oasis. We're almost there, so we'll activate the tower, and then we'll probably wait for the shadow to hit. <laughs> we save in ravioli. We will save the bird. We shall save the bird. I do wonder how the ancient Sheikah technology is able to be like, ah, you actually were shooting from the tower. Or if you can just wait for the shadow to ca cast over that, hit it with an arrow while just standing on it. Finish the map. Finish my Sheikah Slate power. Da 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 da. Complete ha map of Hyrule extracted. Hell yeah! Let me see. A bit more down. Now we just wait for the shadow to align. Presumably. I want to look down at the shadow, but I don't want to lose my spot. And potentially my chance. This chance to throw. I wasted my chance. Knew it would happen. Now I gotta find my place again. It's more like there. Shit. Different bow, probably different bow qualities. Well, now I don't even know how to hit it. What about Steel Lizal Bow? Man, these bows are terrible! What the hell? What is with these bows being so inconsistent? Well...
Hate you, game. So I need to wait until like 3.30 to hit it when I have a specific bow, apparently, because this shit is not good. I hate that. The bows should just be bows. Like, maybe the sniper one is a difference, but god damn you, game. Hidden properties on the bows that change how far they shoot? Screw you. Hate that. That's stupid. At least I assume that's what the, the diddly D says. As light shines from northwest skies, from the tower's shadow an arrow flies. Pierce heaven's light to reveal the prize. So I can only assume it is while the shadow lines up with the pedestal, shoot the platform. Or again, maybe there is a way to cheese it. Like, I don't know. Just hitting it with a bow would seem odd, hmm. I guess after we check this out, because I thought there would be something here. There does seem to be a treasure chest. Oh, that's not a treasure chest. Those are just little stable thingies. I wonder why these exist. Just off the side of these cliffs. I thought there would be, like, a thing here. I always assumed there'd be a thing here, but there's not. Hmm. I guess they're just like, hey, and glide away. But still, Jesus Christ, this is probably the tallest tower. How did the ancient Sheikah build this? This is like the ancient Sheikah equivalent of higher tower. But I guess we can try the shrine thing. Set up a fire, wait until afternoon. And then 3.30 is when the sun crosses over, and what we'll try is we'll glide from the, the tower, I guess? Because it just says an arrow flies. But maybe if we do it from a gliding from the tower it will work, but I don't know. It seems awfully vague. Mostly because it says as an arrow flies. I would assume. Or I could, like, look up how it specifically works so we don't waste our time too much. Let's see. Sign of Shadow. I'll quickly look it up. Just to make sure. Just to be sure. Because it seems a bit vague. Because as arrow flies. Let's see. There's the Guru Tower. So it does say, hmm, apparently we will find a pedestal and then shoot. Hmm. Because this, like, uh, wiki says, Link will find a pedestal he must stand on and then must shoot an arrow. Once the Sun or Moon passes behind the tower, he must shoot an arrow towards it. Hmm. That doesn't seem like what the guy, like the, the song says at all. That seems a bit odd. As light shines from northwest skies, from the tower's shadow an arrow flies. Pierce heaven's light to reveal the prize. So I guess it kind of makes sense. So I guess we can just fly down there stand on it, because I figured it would be more like from the tower's shadow towards the pedestal. But I guess not. It does say, I guess, pierce the light. So it's more like just shoot randomly? How would you even know how that would work? But okie dokie. Do not question the ancient Sheikah, I guess. And we shall wait till noon. And 
then I guess wait until the shadow passes over us and then just randomly shoot. So it seems that like every one of our seconds is a minute in the world of Zelda. Which means we'll be sitting here for about three-ish minutes. Because <laughs> my logic was just like, from the tower shadow an arrow flies. And since you're up there looking down here, and like all the other like quests so far have been shoot one of these things with an arrow. Because again, how the hell does this thing even know that you're like, ah, you're at the right time of day and you shot a bow in a specific direction? I don't know. It seems a little odd. Then again, how would a one of these things know if you're like standing naked on it during a blood moon? The ancient Sheikah technology is basically magic. But I guess it makes more sense since there doesn't seem to be that many bows that can make the shot from the tower to here. So I guess it makes a bit more sense. But still odd. My brain is just like, ah, we have to shoot at something tangible. Shooting in a direction. Again, oh hey, it's Farage. We just keep running into Farage. Usually not in a way that we can actually get anything from him, but it's just amusing. We're just minding our own business. Ancient dragon that nobody apparently sees. But luckily once the shadow starts to appear there, we can just start spamming our bow that direction. Funnily enough, I probably would have uh, realized the answer sooner if, like, I actually did have a bow that reached here. So I hit it in my original assumption from there, hit the bow and arrow here when the shadow passed over. I was like, huh? Why didn't that work? Then again, they do seem a bit finicky, like with that Thunderbolt one across the way. Where I could have sworn that I, like, uh, was in the air and hit it with a... Oh, I, do I just shoot now? Eh. Because you are activated. Or do you have to, have to wait specifically? Eh. The shadow wasn't even passed over. You are horribly inaccurate. Terrible technology. Made by evil people. There's a reason you were chased out of Hyrule. And forced to give up your technology. It doesn't even know time correctly. The ancient Sheikah can't even make a rock that knows when it's in shadow. Then again, how the hell does this thing even work, really? I guess we'll go in, hopefully come out, and be able to talk to Cass about it. I just like to imagine that the ancient Sheikah technology is both, like, really, really good and really, really dumb. Like, we have built a platform that is capable of knowing if somebody has shot a bow on top of it in a specific direction. And it's a combat one, you whores? Let me guess, it's another major. Oh, it's a modest test. Fine, I won't. I'll, I'll take up your challenge. I'll beat you to death with a battle axe. This is the one I've used before, right? I guess I'll use this little one. I'm gonna beat you to death. I have beaten two major ones. Hm, just uh, out of curiosity. This one does not seem to have the Electro ones. It must be those major ones without towers. I am a modest little guy. I'm going to kill you with the body parts of your family. 
I don't even know need to know how much health you have. I'm not even wearing my full combat gear. I need not worry. I'll beat you to death. Continuously. We will do the spin dance of doom. Ah, it even repositioned because it didn't want to do the dance near the tower. It smacked. Modest what you are. I will still spin to win. Spin to win! And you knocked yourself out, idiot! And apparently me hitting you uh, reactivated you. Alright, you're gonna do your spin spin. So I can drop on ya. Oh! Funny thing is, I can't even say, oh, I'll do this without being hit, because I've already been hit once by you. So when are you going to activate your uh, rage quit, just spam your blaster at me mode? That's happened multiple times already. Oh. <laughs> We've reached it. I didn't even break my weapon on you. What kind of sword are you? Guardian Sword Plus. You're about to break anyway. I replace you. And this is Guardian Spear Plus. Not Guardian Spear Plus Plus. Not even a trident. I'm getting the... Uh, I'm going to... I actually, know. I should probably just drop this. I am never going to use you. <laughs> Easy fight. Only because... Like, first off, my YouTube chat gave me a valuable hint that I can actually use the flurry thing by dodging that spin attack. Also, I used a... I already have a frost blade, I'm very certain. So having one, an extra one in a treasure chest I can come back to eventually is nice. Give me your orb! <laughs> then again, I kind of expect a modest fight. A modest, like, test of strength to somewhat be easy. Since I've done two major <laughs> strength checks. If I didn't conquer a modest one, it would be kind of sad. You know, I just thought of something. I wonder if I can just place out a bunch of fire chew jelly as a makeshift campfire. Damn it, I don't think he's there anymore. I'm still gonna climb, because I want to share it with him. But I probably should have shared it with him before I went in. No, it looks like he's gone. I'll just teleport up there. And be sad that he's not there. He saw me go into the... Go in there and he just left. Not even a goodbye. Why have you forsaken me, Daddy Dilfgaz? I wanted to tell you your song meant something to someone. Oh, well. Profound sadness. Off we go back to Rito Village. Well, actually, first, let me check my quests, my main quests. There's Free the Divine Beasts. We've already done Varuta. We need to do Va Meadow. We also need to go do our memories. Hmm, Teba's wife Saki might know where he is. Well, we, so we do have to go there. But as an aside, let me uh, check my... Oh, actually, before we head there, we'll probably head to Hatino Village. What? Why is that? Oh, because that's a quest thing we need to turn in. Okay. I was wondering why there was that. Look at 
probably go there. Well, we're actually probably nearby there. We can probably go do that. So this seems to be from a certain angle off the divine later. So like a few of these we can just do. We're kind of nearby because uh, the oasis. Okay, yeah, so that's the oasis down there. Let's just drop on by the oasis, try and get that uh, memory. Then we'll teleport to Hatino Village to try and uh, upgrade our uh, stasis, since I do believe we should have enough materials to upgrade our stasis rune. And then we'll try and get that one memory part that seems to be from uh, a specific, like, direction from uh, the, uh, the Lost Forest. At least I'm fairly certain that this is the bazaar. Well, actually, yeah, it should be the bazaar. That guy, the painter man, said it was from the bazaar. From YouTube chat, hello, I'm going to subscribe. Thank you. Very much appreciated. I just really enjoy streaming these here games. It's very fun. Alright, we'll try to get this memory. Head to Tino, upgrade Chrono uh, my it's not Kronos, because there's that's too close to the Cryos. Or whatever it is. The ice. Then again, you're a little weirdo. Let me talk to you, and then we'll go to the memory. Hello! That sandstorm. They say it stops for a few hours a day, but it hasn't let up even a little since I've been watching. Rumor has it an ancient civilization hid treasure inside that sandstorm. I've been here for days waiting for the storm mm. to settle down so I can nab it. I just hope it wasn't a bad lead. Wait, who did you say you are again? Interesting. Hello, doggo. Hello, Beetle. Oh, I was gonna blow them up, but I forgot. I'm not sneaky no more. I'm not a sneaky sneakerson. Okay, there should be a memory in, like, this direction. It's probably further away than I was expecting. Let's go to the album. No, it's uh, between the two trees. Over this way. There you are. Kind of surprised I missed this the last time I was here. Activate memory power as we gaze upon the oasis. This will get us down to three memories remaining. I think this will be the first time we can actually see Link's face during this. Because I've always been wearing the Sheikah outfit until I got the Rito outfit. Running in the sand, a bad idea. What are you running from? Oh! These guys existed back then? I guess it is. It's been only a hundred years. And I guess it kind of makes sense if I remember... We were told that the Yiga clan split off from the Sheikah clan, and these are like, eh, how dare the Hyruleans, Hylians, like, betray us. Sheikah, and be like, eh, you mean. And then they decided to team up with the, the evil that they were sworn to defeat. Oh, that's a nice motif. Da, da, da. And that's all the memory is. I guess... I guess that might have happened after, uh... The Rito... The Rito Shrine memory. Where Zelda's like, I don't need to be followed! And was very indignant towards Link, but then there, that came. And she realized, maybe I do need actually a bodyguard, because there's crazy people out here. 
And also probably like, oh wow, Link decided to come help me even though I was a total ass towards him. Also from YouTube chat, are you a furry? I guess so. I enjoy the anthropomorphic character design. <laughs> Blame Disney with all of their great character designs of like the 70s, 80s, and 90s. I forget, when was Disney's Robin Hood created? Even like they're not outright anthropomorphic furry characters like uh, Aristocrat Aristocats was also really good. Just, like animal, like stylized animal characters are just really, really good. Hey there, Pura. Ancient materials! Only one, stasis. I should have three ancient cores. Snap! Let's a go. And this will be <laughs> either this will unlock further upgrades, which I doubt. It's been a while. I probably I haven't used stasis like on anything. I should use that more. Like in a fight or something. Give me greater stasis. Stop the flow of time for an object. This powered-up stasis room can now stop time. Oh, that that's why. Time stop evil creatures, that's what the upgrade is. Stopped object store kinetic energy. Alright, that makes sense. Normal stasis, not able to stop enemies. Upgraded stasis can stop enemies. Gotcha. <laughs> My little guidance stone did the trick. <laughs> hmm, what's this? Perhaps you already went and powered them all up? Well, I suppose if you're Sheikah Slate and you're a legendary swordsmanship, we have nothing to fear. Yes, quite nothing at all. Not even Calamity Ganon. We did it. <laughs> they get Stasis Plus, the better Stasis subscription model. Now the Stasis Company can say that, oh, we killed your wife, but you agreed to arbitration for the subscription plan. So you can't sue us, bitch. That's an actual thing that Disney is arguing. Capitalism is a curse. Well, now we're gonna head back to the Rito village. Hopefully, oh, well, it's nighttime. Damn it. I guess we can splurge, go on, sleep on the Rito down bed. Talk to the child that was like, my grandpa used to tell me this story, but I slept through it all, and now he's dead. And now I'll never hear the full story. Here we are. <laughs> and maybe we can talk to... Well, it's getting late, so everyone's gonna be on their way. Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk later. It's late. I got here just in time for everybody to be like, eh, I wanna go home. Might as well get another stamina vessel. Stamina vessel! And now I think I'll go back to upgrading my health. Because I think with that amount of stamina, I should be able to just augment it with, like, uh, stamina increasing food. I really like the designs of the Rito. Once again, I really need to, like... What's the word? Draw my little avatar cat self. Oh, I guess that was the bed. For some reason, it looked like the general store. But I really need to draw my little avatar cat self as a Rito, because they're just such good designs. Ah. Only stall goblins have reason to be up this late, Traveler. This is Swallow's Roost, Rito's villi Rito Village's premier and only inn. I'll take the Rito down bed. Um, until morning. An open air in. <laughs> I just 
belly flopped on top of it, apparently. I think this is the first time I've actually used an N. Oh, stamina bonus too? Good morning. Did you sleep well on the Rito down bed? All right, take care. Thank you very much, Miss Innkeeper. Hi. Welcome to the Sweller's Roost, the finest inn in this side of Death Mountain. Our inn is the perfect place to snooze your troubles away. <laughs> Keep talking. <laughs> uh, troubles? Uh... Haven't you seen it? That monster just appeared one day. It's been terrorizing the village non-stop. We can't take much more than this. Look, I'm just running my mouth here. If you want to know the details, talk to the elder at the top floor. Oh, which I already did. Now we need to find, uh... Like, probably that one eye-catching... Rito lady. Huh. I guess it's still fairly early for all the children. That's still adorable, that they just sleep in hammocks. It's also kind of an adorable way to imagine the Ritos, like, sleeping. Hi. Morning. Thanks to the Divine Beast of Almedo, our village is under siege. It could bomb us all at any mm. given moment. If our properly trained soldier would go straight to the beast and bring it down. And he's still hurt. Uh. Forgive my intrusion, but I overheard you speaking with the Elder. It sounds like you intend to help my husband, Teba, in the fight against Meadow. But to tell the truth, there's not much I can do for you right now beyond telling you where my husband went. Where did he go? Well, my husband headed to a place called the Flight Range. Eh? It's in Drenox Pass at the base of the Hebra Mountains. It's a place where Rita warriors prepare for aerial combat. Mm. I imagine he's gone there to gather weapons for another run at Meadow. As it happens, he made his way to the flight range on foot this time. If you take from Rivali's Landing, it's a straight shot to the flight range. Rivali's Landing is a memorial for the Rito champion Rivali, so named in the hope that none might forget the events of that horrible day. Oh, memory time! This one isn't even tied to, like, your typical memory thing. Neat. And then Link remembers his boyfriend. He had his girlfriend in Mifa, boyfriend in Ravali. It's just natural, don't you know? I think that's the first time we'll really get to see Rivali in a memory. The only other one was at the, like, uh... What an entrance! Was at the, uh, knighting ceremony Impressive, memory. I know. Very few can achieve a mastery of the sky. Yet I have made an art of creating an updraft that allows me to soar. It's considered to be quite the masterpiece of aerial techniques, even among the Rito. With He's like an airbender. Of my superior skills, I see no reason why we couldn't easily dispense with Ganon. Now then, my ability to explore the firmament is certainly of note. But let's not, pardon me for being so blunt, let's not forget the fact that I am the most skilled archer of all the Rito. Yet despite these truths, I like that he's just rambling to, to Link about how great you. he is. All because you happen to have that little darkness ceiling sword on your back. I mean, it's just asinine. Why don't you have a Unless darkness ceiling you bow? You can prove me wrong. Maybe we should just settle this one on one. But where? Oh, I know. How about up there? Oh, but you can't get there now, can no, you? You must pardon me. I forgot you have no way of making it up to that divine beast on your own. Silly little man. I like that he just shows up, monologues, then leaves. Descendant! Descendant, are you alright? Sorry, I was having a memory flashback of my ancestor, which is me. 
My apologies. I fear I've said far too much. If there's anything you do not understand, please do not hesitate to ask. But I'll wait around a bit, let uh, the kids get up, mostly so I can see if the one has any dialogue about me going and discovering what it was that was in the white birdie for that story her grandpa told her that she never got to hear the end of because she kept falling asleep. Good morning. There have been a lot of troubled faces around here ever since Divine v Beast Vameto appeared. When will we be able to go back to living a relaxed life here? Uh, depending on time, could be, uh, two days, max. And now we will use the Master Sword for its divine purpose, <laughs> Smashing Pots. At least now it can start, uh, rebuilding its energy. Basically would have been useless to me. Da -da. Then again, I could have just... Picked up the pots and smashed. Da, 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 da. I love the music here. I need to find a playlist of all the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild music because while it's not there as often as other Zelda games, and it's not as bombastic as other Zelda games, unless you count the trailer song, because the trailer song is a very big bop. The music is still really good. It's still very good. I guess while we wait for all of everybody to get up, I shall make more... We'll make a combat like food. If I take major damage in a boss fight, that's what I'm going to use. Elsewise, I'll just do my usual cook up small ones for revitalizing mid combat. Or maybe selling. Either or. I find it funny that I have, like, a massive amount of the very good meat compared to everything else. Well, like, m I guess middling of the road meat in terms of quality. An extra... I can then go and sell these too. Oh, nah, that's not what I wanted. There we go. Some of these are for selling more than others. <laughs> if I really wanted to, I could probably go and, like, make some elixirs, but I was never really one to make elixirs in this game. I don't need to increase my attack against enemies, even though I probably should. Maybe I should look through my diddly D and see, like, uh, is there anything here that's like, ah, mighty? We could make, like, some replenishments of you. Let me go ahead and do that. Because I could have sworn that I had some stuff out like this. The mighty thistle. Will this work? So if I'm ever in a boss fight, I could use that. Let's see. What about a razor shroom? I want a thistle work. a handful of, well, that's a, uh, that's a mighty heal on that one.
raises defense, speed. Cannot be eaten in this form, only if you're a coward. Was I, what am I looking at? <laughs> Just look up towards the sun. All of the kids wake up at 8 o'clock on the dot. I do have to wonder, like, is this just like the community most of the children live here place? Who are you, some kind of traveler? Oh, it's, I forget, I think we already talked to you. Oh yeah, you're the one that doesn't want to go to singing practice. Because I forget where, because this is kind of close to the ground. And I just want to talk to that one that told me of the shrine. There you are. So I can tell you I did it. Yeah. Yeah, the Snow White Birdie's important thing. When I grow up, I'm going to go find the big tree and find it. I found it. Oh. What? You met with the White Birdie? What did he swallow? Well... A shrine? The Snow White Birdie wasn't actually a bird. So my birdie was actually Hebra Mountain. Oh, Grandpa, you always were such a tr prankster. I'm glad to at least bring some level of, uh, what's the word? Closure to ya. I believe, yep, this is the ceremonial, well, not ceremonial, but like, ba 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 Off we go to the range. We can talk to the guy. See if he has any bows to spare. I mean, I have a few decent bows, but maybe he'll have some really good bows. Considering this is like the uh, you'd think that like the archery champions people would like excel at having bows. There's like a Lazalfos, and then those jerks running about. At least I think it was a Lazalfos. <laughs> Get off your horse. <laughs> Why don't the wild horses kick them off nearly as much as they kicked me? Oh, they, they did! Oh! <laughs> Here I was about to complain and the horses proved me wrong. Well, no wonder this place is perfect for practicing your archery. There's updrafts everywhere. Just realized I probably should have talked to this guy's kid. He probably would have had unique dialogue of like, Oh, you're going to the flight range where my dad is? I'll take your... I'll steal from you. Ah, cutscene time. I guess kind of makes sense. We met Prince Sidon. I guess you're going to be the Rito representative. Yeah. Teba, Rito warrior. Not nearly as bombastic as Prince Sidon. I don't know you, and I'm actually pretty busy here. You should probably go. I'm here to help you defeat the, the Divine Beast. I'm here to be a hero. Don't you know I'm a descendant? Mm -hmm. Did you need something? I'm busy here. I can help you. Hmm. Help me. With what exactly? Vameto. Let me get this straight. Some random Hylian wants to help me bring down Divine Beast Valmetto. I'm not buying it. What's your name, stranger? I'm Link. Link, huh? Well, Link, 
I'm Teva, but you already knew that. I'm guessing the Elder asked you to come here and talk some sense into me, am I right? That's right! Just like the Elder to trust any fool wandering into the village. Look, you seem like an alright guy, but let's make one thing clear. I'm not going anywhere. As a Rita warrior, I can't rest until my people are safe. There's no, only one way I'm going back to Rito Village. And that is, let me guess, if you're gonna bring down Vometo. Hmm. Once Divine Beast Vometo falls from the sky, if I have to kill Meadow, so be it. Only then will I return to the village. Well, then let's get started. Mm -hmm. Are you serious? <laughs> ha! Well, far be it from me to talk you off the ledge. But it's as the Elder said. The only way to stop Divine Beast Vometo is to get inside it. Fast chance of that happening. There's no way we can set foot in Meadow. Actually, I have a thing called technology. <laughs> so not only are you wingless, you're brainless too. Let me fill you in. The only people able to enter the Divine Beasts are the five champions of old. And unfortunately for us and the rest of Hyrule, they all died a hundred years ago. And Rivali didn't fuck. If it hadn't been for Ganon. <sighs> Never mind. Let's focus on bringing down Meadow. One step at a time. If we approach Meadow recklessly, its cannons will blast us out of the sky before we get even close. So I'm going to need to test you before I take you with me. We read a warriors use the updraft in this ravine to hone our aerial archery skills. The updrafts are so strong here that a person could just open up a cloth over their heads and float up easily. Hmm. Now let's see what you're capable of. You'll have to maneuver through the air and destroy the five targets set up in this valley in three minutes. I'm ready! Hmm. Then go destroy the five targets with your arrows. Sure thing, my boy! <laughs> I missed that one. That's it. Luckily, I get infant stamina while here, apparently. Oh, def horribly missed that one. Perfect. And then there was more than five down there. Okay, come back. You're a skilled archer. It was as if time stopped with every arrow you let fly. That is the game mechanic. And I've got to tell you, Link. When you first showed up, I thought someone was pulling a prank on me. But after seeing you handle that bow, I can tell you're the real deal. You must have seen a battle or two. I've seen a few. <laughs> Don't be modest. I can tell just by looking at you. Link, I feel I've heard the name somewhere before. Well, if you really want to help me bring down Meadow, it's now or never. I'll get in you into position so you can give its cannons all you've got. Hmm. Inside that treasure chest is a bow I've modified. Take it and let me know when you're ready. Hell yeah! I'll go ahead and drop this. Falcon bow. Hell yeah. You proved your metal by hitting the targets at the flight range. When it comes time to battle Divine Beast Vameto, Teba will draw the focus of its attack so you can focus on destroying its cannons. Teba will carry you into the sky, where Divine Beast Vameto awaits. Well, let's save. And let's go. Okay, it's time to face Divine Beast Vameto. Normal arrows won't put a dent in those cannons. You'll need to hit them with bomb arrows. These are a precious commodity, so don't expect me to do this again. But take these bomb arrows. That's a lot of them! I think that's more than I had! Also, it'll be cold up there. You want to prepare a warm meal or bring some warm clothes. I'm ready! Hmm. All right. But let me ask you something. Why are you doing this? Why risk your life to bring down Meadow? To save Rito Village, I'd say. I like this place. Hmm. Rito Village? It's not like you'll get the keys to the village, you know. Well, that's nice. 
But no change in your mind once you get up there and see Meadow up close. Well, that's fair enough. Right. Get on. I really like the design of the Rito. They're just so cool! The only thing I will say is it feels like the Zora got a bit, like, extra in terms of preparation. All right, it's showtime. Man, even I feel like I'm gonna freeze up here. Like, we met Prince Sidon and got, like, a lot more preparation with them. There's Divine Beast Vameto. It has its barrier up again. What a pain. What's wrong, Link? You scared to talk? Let's go over the plan. You see those cannons? All dry their all draw their fire. While I'm doing that, use your bomb arrows to destroy the cannons. Got it so far? If you need to withdraw for a bit, just spread your cloth and float straight up in the updraft for a while. I'll take that as a sign that we need to regroup. Don't bother aiming for anything covered by Von the meadow's barrier. It's impenetrable. And whatever you do, don't get close enough to touch it. Hmm. And finally, I know I've said this a few times already, but don't forget your cold protection. We can move whenever you're ready. Let's go! Alright. Now go blow up those cannons! It's on you! After getting close to hit these. After getting really close. Out of the way. Booyah. That's it. Watch out. I gotta get in close. Can you hit me? Can you hit me? Woo! You can't hit me. You can't hit me. I'm too scared. Look at me. I'm so scared of you. Whoop! I'm the one getting close to the cannon. Dang it. Oh. There we go. I like that I can just re get my stamina back by just opening my claw. Man, it's just a little bit sad that Sidon got like a lot of uh, like preparation and like, hey, meet Prince Sidon. He's a cool guy. While uh, the Rito didn't get that much for their representative. We'll have to see if it's any better for the Goron and the Gerudo. <laughs> you can't aim to the side, can you, little Guardian Cannon? I'm coming for you. Oh, it actually is aiming at him. We did it. And destroying its shield? Well, I guess uh, destroying its cannons also destroys its shields. Huzzah! And now it can't bomb you anymore, hopefully. Well then, done, Link. then again, I think we need it for, for later. Is history. Now I gotta go and land on it. Although, like, out of all of the Divine Beasts, this one seems like the easiest to enter without being, like, a descendant of, or, like, of the Guardian, of the Champions. Excuse me. Wow, you actually got hit. Bad news, Link. Looks like I got hit pretty good back there. The fact I that you tanked to hit at all. I, I need to get back to the flight range. You go back to the I village, if anything. I can make it back. You do it, dude. Down the good luck. And you heal up, man. You. <laughs> Wing thumbs up. Go back to your son. I'll bring this thing back under control. We 
We've all registered horses. We know how that works. The joys of night. Some animals and insects only come out when it's dark. Second divine beast underway. I wonder if Ravali will just be mocking us the entire way through, passive-aggressively. Well now, I've seen that face before. Even death hasn't changed you, Ravali, and that's why you're just a... you're a queen. I had a feeling you would show up eventually, but making me wait a hundred years is a bit... indulgent. I didn't really have a choice on the waiting part. You're here to wrest control of Meadow away from Ganon, correct? If so, then the first thing you'll want to do is find yourself a map. And I see it. That guidance stone has the information for the layout of this divine beast. Can you make it there? I kind of like that even though it's been like a hundred years and he's dead. He isn't like a super jerk. It's almost like he's laid back in death. Which is actually kind of interesting. That he's just so... Blase about being dead. It's just like, uh, you made me wait a long time, Link. Me being dead and everything, but still. I'm gonna guess I am. Can I stasis you? Oh, that was too much. So we need a smaller weapon. I don't think I have a smaller weapon, really. There we go. Oh, there's an eyeball here. I wasn't even caring about you. I came here for this treasure chest. Prepare to die! And really, with that there, I can access any of the which ways, whichever which way. I'm just gonna come down and stab you to death. Step, 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 step. You stab me first? Illegal. Hell, five billion years. You're about to break anyway, be gone. Oh, it's like, this is like actually the cockpit. So it's kind of like the brain has the, has the map knowledge. Infiltration Va Meadow, it's going well. Except my bird bro got hit in the ass. And it's just kind of hilarious. It's like, I need to head back to the flight range. Why not head home? All right, so there's five activation thingies, I think. Yeah, terminal. Tilt? We can tilt this thing. Guess it makes sense. It is a bird. You'll need to look closely at your map of the Divine Beast. The terminals that will activate Meadow are marked by those glowing points. You'll need to activate all of the terminals to take back control. I gotta say, I think I kind of like uh, Rivali's voice actor to uh, Mifa's. Like, I don't know, he has a more solid, like, tone throughout all this. Whereas, like, uh, Mifa's tutorializing voice just didn't really work all think that well. up to it. And I also kind of like that there's, like, a slight bit of ambigu ambiguity to Rivali's tone here. Like, it could be that he is, like, like, totally just being like, are you up for it, Link? Or is it just kind of like a... A genuine, I wonder if you're actually up for this. I mean, you have made it here. 
get out of here. Get frozen and blown. You know what? Screw it. Who needs to follow logic? I have <laughs> health. I guess I technically could have thrown a bomb through, maybe. Can I bomb you? Yeah, bombs do work. That's nice. I do like the 3D minimap down there. I only just realized it. It's very nice. Now we'll use my boosted position to glide on in. <laughs> now the real question. Could Solid Snake infiltrate Vomito? I probably was not meant to come here through that, but I will anyway. There are four terminals remaining. Still a ways to go. Yeah, I, I failed. I'm a fool. I'm going to fall down to the land. I have to teleport back. Fool what I am, I will not make it back. Or maybe I can. Darn. I almost could. It would be funny if you could go from Vometo to the ground and back again. Even out, Meadow. Even out. I shall place that. Let's see how much that affects it. Perfect. And I'll head this way. Okay, that's a mouth. Prepare to ball. Ah, you have a big health, yep. don't you? Yep. Oh, so we probably need to tilt it to really make it through. Power of wind compels. Aha. There are three terminals remaining. Keep going. And I guess what it wants me to do is tilt. Could do that. I underestimated my flying power. That feels so unnatural. Hmm. Do I want a knight's claymore? Alright, why are you 
Boston at 60. Didn't realize that. We already have a few Knights Claymores, though. Hmm. I'm gonna do something dumb. Never mind, it's not dumb, it's genius! that we don't lose you so I'm guessing I uh, there was a bomb shoot still think I would have had to do that to get out anyway activate there are two terminals remaining you're almost there. Again, Rivali's voice is just so good. <laughs> Fine, I'll make it tilt back to the normal way. I fail. Ah! I guess that's one way. Huh, interesting. Like, the internal area kind of tilts as well. Impressive. Take that. Oh, I had a treasure chest in it. Did not realize that. I just didn't want to deal with an eyeball. Yep. More ice arrows. What am I there here? Why would the ice arrows be in the cold sky? I guess I answered my own question. I guess one way to see things. Oh, I probably need to see what happens when I bomb. And then if I... So that way, I need to hold you in place. Or else you'd move. Get slammed, idiot. This one's coming to me far more naturally than, uh, Varuta. Just one terminal remaining. <laughs> what do you know? Ah, you smug, cocky bastard. I love you.
Ah, there doesn't seem to be a, an exact way in. Maybe there's a way in from the top. I just like the music that's playing. Like, a part of it is kind of very, like, light and hard to hear, but it's very good. Again, I'll need to track down the soundtrack. I really like that you can just wander around these big beasts. These big old beasties! Darn, I aimed too high. Now die. Send us away through my carriage today. The power of physics. Oh, I thought that would stop far earlier than it did. I almost killed myself. Oh, so that's how we get in. We come up from below, not anywhere else. That was the last terminal. Now you just need to start the main control unit. I want you to take a good look at your map. There should be a new glowing point on there. Well, flap to it. I kind of like that. Death did nothing to Ravali's just spicy personality. That's actually just a very funny thing. It's like, well, flap to it? Oh, come on, Link. Surely the great knight that can seal the darkness would be able to do all this in five minutes. What do you think? Let's see, do we have any just normal... Oh, that should do. Let me see. And I guess I'll set my bombs up so that we can really show this next Ganon Blight who's boss. You dare kill our bird boy? I'll show you. I probably should have saved. Show yourself, Ganon Blight. I will exercise you from this holy land. Blight Ganon. Good luck. That thing is one of Ganon's own, and it plays dirty. He defeated me 100 years ago, but only because I was winging it. I can't believe I'm actually saying this. <laughs> but you must avenge me, Link. His aim is dead on. Watch yourself. All that, this music that's playing. I like that it's like dramatic, but there's a <laughs> stinking like uh, accordion in there. down to half health, idiot. I've got bomb arrows for days. Oh, speaking of fighting spot. dirty. Oh, 
Oh, it's still forming. Die! Oh. Didn't like that, did ya? You know what? I'll take you out like a true Rito warrior. Falcon bow. Uh, wait. Die. Didn't even use a bow. Use an arm cannon. Fake Samus Aaron Ganon. And like the sad thing is, unlike Mifa, Mifa like died within Varuta, so her body was probably still in there. Ravali, he is his body could have been thrown off any which way. We did it. There we go. Saved your Rav well, saved your Ravali, I say, while he's dead. Avenged ya. Ding. Let's take control back. I think I got all the obvious chests, and I don't really mind missing out. Well, there is that one soldier's claymore, but oh well. We have two. We have two soldiers' claymore at home. Well, I'll be plucked. You defeated him, eh? With copious amounts of bombs, bird boy. Who would have thought? The beautiful bird boy. Ravali, Rito champion. Well done. I suppose I should thank you now that my spirit is free. This returns Meadow back to its rightful owner. <laughs> Don't preen yourself just for doing your job. I do suppose you've proven your value as a warrior. A warrior worthy of my unique ability. The sacred skill that I have dubbed Ravali's Gale. <laughs> it's like he practiced this to, <laughs> to give me that power. Now I can fly like a real Rito. It's now time to move on and start making preparations for Meadow Strike on Ganon. But only if you think you'll still need my help while you're fighting inside Hyrule Castle. Feel free to thank me now. <laughs> or, never mind, just go. <laughs> Your job is far from finished, you know. I kind of like the atmosphere of that, of doing it at night. The princess has been waiting an awful long time. <laughs> kind of cute that he <laughs> turns around. Our darling Sundere Ravali. And the funny thing is, we can't even say that him calling his special ability Ravali's Gale is ego, considering that Mifa has Mifa's grace. This will scare all of them to death, like, oh no, it's coming down for a bombing run. No, it's just here to perch. It's under new management, well, I guess old management. It's like if uh, Walmart's original owner came back to life and took over business. 
once more. T-posing for maximum power. You'll have a precise bead on Ganon from this vantage point. And when the time is right, give him everything you've got. Booyah! Now we wait for that perfect moment. <laughs> Meadow, we've been artfully patient for the last 100 years. I doubt you'll suffer a feather over a few more moments. After all these years, I simply must admit the truth. Even without the power of flight, Link made his way to this divine beast and accomplished something that even I could not. I guess I was wrong about how lucky he would be. I hope that luck holds out, Link, for everyone's sake. I like Ravali. Darling, silly ego boy. Now, where will we land? Ah, back here. Makes sense. <laughs> that is his landing. Ravali's Gale. A blustrous power born from the spirit of the champion Ravali creates an upward draft that carries you into the sky. Activate by jumping uh, while charging jump with X. Oh, you can do it three times. Seemingly. Hey there, Teba. Hm. You. I really owe you one for what you did. Are you hurt? Hm. It's fine. Thanks to my wife, I've recovered to the point where I can stand. Actually, my wife told me something about you. She says you're descendant of the champion. Hm. <laughs> Go on, there's nothing to hide. Your bowmanship, the way you move through the air. There's no doubt about it, you have the blood of the champion. <laughs> And the joke would be, I can't believe Rivali fucked a Hylian. What? You look like you've got something else to say. Well, actually... Mm -hmm. Don't tell me. You're the Hylian champion? <laughs> Good one, pal. <laughs> Everyone knows that all the champions were wiped out by the Calamity Ganon 100 years ago. And even if they survived that, they'd be old geezers with canes instead of swords. I let the Elder know about what happened with Divine Beast of our meadow, but you should probably go talk to him. And we'll still, like, probably go down, wait at the inn for, like, noon, talk to everybody. Because I think it'd be nice. Oh, you've done it. And you survived at that. You conquered Divine Beast of our meadow. To think the beast has taken up roost at the top of the village, it simply looks... Divine. If the legends are true, the light from the divine beasts will ravage the calamity. For now, divine beast of our meadow will become the protector of this village and live on in legend alongside you. <laughs> oh yes, of course, I must reward you properly. Feel free to take what you find in that treasure chest. You will get more use of it than I. Champion descendant, I have only just realized that sword you have in your possession. Could it be the sword that seals the darkness? The Hylian champion who fought alongside Master Ravali 100 years ago. Could that be you? I'm extra happy I got my the Master Sword before all this. Just for that little extra thing. Let's see, what bow would we want to drop for it? Well, I guess the... There we go. A bow without equal wielded by the Rito champion Ravali. It said Ravali could use arrows at the speed of a gale, making him supreme in aerial combat. I just realized, his wife is actually sleeping in the hammock. That's cute. Huh. Hmm. 
I see you've got the Great Eagle Bow from the Elder. That thing is way too heavy to use in aerial fighting. I'd end up sacrificing all of my speed just to take a shot. Hmm. Now if I had both the strength and speed of Master Ravali, that would be a different story. But seeing the way you handled your bow against Meadow, I suggested we let you borrow the Great Eagle Bow. Take it with you on your adventure along with the respect of the Rito. Oh. Well then, my wounds are just about healed. So when Tulin wakes up, I think I'll take him to the flight range. I'm hoping Tulin grows up to be a distinguished warrior like Master Ravali. <laughs> it would be cool if Tulin managed to become like... The ba ba ba. The what's the word? The Rito Warrior Champion. Ah, uh, what now? Keel, where are you? I can't find Keel anywhere. Where could she be? Maybe she went to Warbler's Nest to practice her singing. But that's so far away. Could she have made it there on her own? Oh, I'm so worried. Well, we'll head to Warbler's Nest, then. We'll talk to everybody who's awake. Maybe rest at the inn until morning to talk to everybody who's asleep. You're still up? <laughs> I hate practicing singing. Who cares if I'm not a good singer? Oh, this pressure's making me hungry. I want some salmon. French word. I have no idea how to make that. You know what? I'm I'm curious. I'm gonna look that up. Cause it's probably just fish and something. But what could it be? What are the secrets? Goat butter, hearty salmon, and tabantha meat. Goat butter, hearty salmon, tabantha meat. Let's see if I have all all for that. Okay, let's see. Uh, we have carps and stuff, but not hearty salmon. And... I don't think we have... Uh, goat butter either. We have, uh... Because it was... And Tabantha wheat. No, we don't have anything. I'll keep that in mind, then. I like... <laughs> the only child that is asleep is Tulin. Hey, sport, on your way out to the mountains? Ooh. Oh, could it be the one who ate Teba? Hey, I just want to say thanks for doing that. Oh. The nerve of that beast, it really ruffles my feathers. Anyway, I imagine you'll soon be off on another adventure soon, huh? Oh. If you plan to go someplace cold, you should consider buying some of our warm clothes. I'll do that. Oh. Great, come in and shop your little heart out. Too bad I can't say I already did it. Oh, so we can get some of the stuff here. Ah. Yeah, I'll just take them all. <gasps> now we just need to find a hearty salmon. Well, let's talk to you. Oh. Fishy, fishy. No one's selling fishies. If I can't buy any fishies, I can't finish my task. Oh. Maybe I'll just like, hiya, and catch one myself. Cree is good at counting. She always counts customers that come to the Slippery Falcon every day. See, you were the, huh, I forgot. Fool that you are. Oh. I'll take them all. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> the legendary Rito General Store. <laughs> I'll say goodbye. Like, every... It's funny, like... All the kids are awake. I guess the 
with a divine beast landing on the perch would make <laughs> things a bit crazy. Oh. Hey, morning. I'm glad Meadow has settled down, but I have bigger problems. My mom said she wants me to take over the family store someday. Can you believe that? I don't want to just help. Mm. I want to open my own store and sell whatever I want. You know, it'd be very cool if that guy actually opens a store in, like, Tears of the Kingdom. I think that would be neat. Probably won't even happen, but, eh, I think it would be neat. A potential thing. We need to find a hearty salmon somewhere. It might actually be in just the basin. Or round, just roundabout. Maybe it might even be on this mountain here somewhere. In like a lake or something. I forget, did I talk to you? Hi. Morning. Now that Divine Beast of Almedo has calmed down, the village is peaceful once again. Uh. Seems like everyone in the village is thinking about going on vacation. But if everyone went on vacation, there'll be no one to be in the village. Oh? You got the Great Eagle Bow from Elden, right? If you break or lose the Great Eagle Bow, I can make a new one for you. But you will need to bring me a Swallow Bow, five bundles of wood, and a diamond. Bundles of wood is easy, you have a Swallow Bow right here, and I know how to get diamonds easy, so I'm gonna use this with impunity. What the fuck? Huh. I don't know what that light is. I really should, like, see that someday. Oh. Good morning. <laughs> I heard that Divine Beast of Almedo has been appeased. It just sends my heart soaring. I didn't even realize it started singing this old song. Did you hear me singing it? Teach me! Huh? huh? Well, that's embarrassing. <clears throat> the pride of the Rito, pillar in the sky, its heart lights up when the sun is high. Uh, there's more to the song, but I forget the rest of the words. Uh, you should ask my sister, Laysa, if you want to know the rest. Ravali's Landing. <laughs> Teba told me everything about the flight range, the fight with Meadow, and that Meadow being perched above the village means that everything is back to normal. To have my husband home safe and sound, I cannot begin to express my gratitude. No problem. <laughs> Smash all the pots, they might have five arrows. Not this time, though. We'll wait just a little bit longer so Tulin will get up and we can talk to him. Let's see. Ah, Lysa. Oh. Hmm. So Bedily told you I would sing you a, the last half of the ancient Rito song. Her memory really is the worst. I can help you, but there's a catch. <laughs> Recite the first half from memory and I'll teach you the second half. I'll give it a shot. Uh, the Pride of the Rito. Pillar in the Sky. Its heart lights up. When the sun is high. Aha, uh -huh, you got every word right. Ah. Well, a promise is a promise. I'll teach you the last half of the song. The heart shines upon a path not whole, but a warming flame can stir its soul. That's the second half of the ancient Rito song. Profound, isn't it? So let's see. The pride of the Rito, pillar in the sky. Its heart lights up when the sun is high. The heart shines upon a path not whole, but a warming flame can stir its soul. I can only imagine, like, get to the top, because, like, the pride of the Rito pillar in the sky, this is kind of a pillar in the middle of the village. Da, 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 da. And we also have two champion abilities now. So I 
can only assume it's like come up here at like noon and then there's like build a fire maybe on top of it but then what's the the heart shines upon a path not whole but a warming flame can stir its soul so maybe build a fire on top we'll have to wait and see come on Tulin. get up i didn't get to i forgot to talk to you before i went to bring your dad home now that your dad is home i want to talk to you but you're like uh, sleeping the day away all the other kids are out and about they've even absconded from the village making everybody worry don't you want to make people worry too I wonder what it's like to have an internal clock that's just like, hell yeah, I get up at this time. La la la. Mm -hmm. ah, just happy, I guess. So profound. Well, I guess we'll go ahead and climb this. I could even use Rivali's Gale if I wanted. I wonder how long it takes for Rivali's Gale to, like, recharge. I have three. Oh! Uh, I was not expecting you up here. You like that? I call the little ditty Return to the Bird Wrangling Hero, Prelude in E Sharp Minor. Thanks you for leaks listening. Interesting. Definitely perfect for exploring. And from here, we can make it to Warbler's Nest. Try to find a leaf, I guess. Do that. I guess this is the heart. Pride of the Rito Pillar in the Sky. So this is the heart. The heart lights up when the sun is high. The heart shines upon a path not whole, but a warming flame can stir its soul. So it's probably make a flame at the path not whole. Ah, we need to make a fire there at probably at noon. Let's see. Where is Warbler's Nest? Off we go to Warbler's Nest first. Actually over here instead, because there's things. Another apple giving and some mining to be done. If only they were more like... Imagine if they were like Rito statues instead. I think that would be cute. Give me your power, Korok. I cannot smash you with a rock. That is all that is wrong with the world. More luminous stones to... be able to... turn into diamonds back in... Hmm. Then again, it's actually getting kind of close. We'll head over to that place instead. Then make our way to Warbler's Nest because when the sun is high, probably means at noon. And then we need to look for a specific kind of fish. I think hardy salmon he wanted, or they wanted. I do not know the gender of the bird child, so we shall not presume. Path not whole. Oh, 
Oh. Uh, too scary? Get out of here. I won't waste my weapon on you. You're a slime. Does look like a heart. Hopefully, it, that will work good enough. I don't think it was. Darn you. Hmm. Path not whole, but a warming flame can stir its soul. So I could have sworn that that would be it. Nyeh. Why must you hurt me, dear gum? I thought I had it perfectly. I'm just trying to think what else it could be. But a warming flame can stir its soul. Like, it feels like... Th th I don't know. Hmm. I'm trying to think. Because the, 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 the shadow passed on by. And we're past 12, which I f figured would be sun high. So I figured, like, the heart would shine upon a path, ba ba da ba. And that would be it. But I guess not? Did it have to be, like, a fire, like, more in the center? What? What? The Was there a delay? Is 12 not 12 anymore? Okay, whatever. Sure. Sure, game. Eh. Sure. 12's not 12 anymore. The shadow passed by. Then again, it's been 12,000... It's been 10,000 years since these were made, so... Maybe, <laughs> all right, maybe the, uh, I guess maybe, like, maybe there's been some time drift. 12 used to be 12, 30 minutes early in the past. Or, like, it, there's been time drift and now 30 minutes, yeah, I don't know. Val Meadow has been added to the screen. All is good in life. Oh, you're gonna demand I do things for you, even though I had to do things to get here, don't you? How dare. Well, obviously, what's in there? I do kind of find it amusing. What the Fuck. What do you mean attack up 13? I guess I'll just leave that there so I can come back for it later. But I guess like a swallow bow is usually not as good. Let's see. I have to do this multiple times. Now with Pong boards. But yeah, as I was saying, there's an, a funny implication that the ancient, like, Sheikah put breakable rocks in intentionally to be like, ah, the, the hero will have, <laughs> the hero will have to blow these up to get this chest. Also, is there like a platform down there? I could have sworn I saw a platform down there is just pulling away, but I guess not. Ah, uh, there's an even harder cannon challenge, eh? At least this will be better than the golf course one. Because I only have to sacrifice my time and bombs, which are infinite, rather than my weapons. Oh, and it's also moving. Haha! <laughs> Got it in one! Wario is the greatest winner! Wario is the champion of Hyrule! 
Give me your diamonds. <laughs> I didn't mean. I didn't know that it was actually going to be a diamond. <laughs> I... <laughs> Wario is fortune seer. He sees the future, which is full of diamonds. <laughs> It doesn't mean <laughs> I did not expect an actual diamond to be in that chest. But yeah, I, one thing I don't understand is that, like, the heart lines up with the diddly D, like, the Sheikah platform at 12, basically perfectly, and yet it's like 30, 35 in-game minutes after? I don't understand. Did a developer intentionally do that to be like, ha ha ha, people are going to think that th they were wrong or it was misplaced and walk away before... Like, depending on how fast you walk away, it's possible you might still be in the range for wait, to activate i thought this was gonna be a fun place instead it is hell have i ever taken a picture of you i have black Pinox. i don't care to fight you we'll head to warbler's nest then i guess maybe we might go into the water see if we can find some salmon Off we go to Wobbler's Nest. Let's see. Will any of these give me a... I'm looking to see if any of these will give me like a... Oh, a frog. Ah, there we go. Korok leaf. Hmm. Honestly, if we can get you any day. And we'll go ahead and do this to summon, I guess, the other shrine. And just see if the Rito children are indeed, or at least this one Rito child is indeed at Warbler's Nest. Look at me, I wield the greatest weapon. Yeah, ha ha ha. It's a giant leaf. You know what would be hilarious? If the giant leaf was capable of parrying guardian fire. This, like, unwieldy thing. I think that would be hilarious. It would make no sense, but it would be hilarious. Yo, kid, where are you? Are you up in the tree? You are a bird. Eh, wrong birds. Oh, I, I just walked past you. Or did you spawn in? Uh, my sisters are dumb dummies. They promised we'd rehearse together, but no one showed up. We have to perform our song for the elder at Warbler's Nest. If we're gonna be left, we're gonna be left off the stage. Oh. Hey, you. You look like you can. You. I can use you. That is to say, you look like a nice guy who likes to help people in need. Can you go tell my sisters in Rito Village to stop ditching rehearsal? They won't listen to me, but they might listen to a scary-looking Hylian like you. Although Ginley might be a tough sell. She's probably in the kitchen yelling. <laughs> I want some salmon, Mionyere. Or something like that. No, you, you've nailed that perfectly. She doesn't want to sing either. She's such a pain. Well, I guess I'll... I'll do this first since it's part of the shrine quest I don't wanna what's the word I'm trying to think of the word it's not coming for me uh, sequence break that's what it is shelf and trout not what I wanted that's not what I want. And also, I am, uh, you're in hell. Oh, 
ball. He should not have come down here without a plan. I'm going to drown. Or I could just stay here and be moved away. Eh, I'll just drown. I'll take the health loss. Oh, I forgot I have extra stamina. I could have actually made it away. Fool what I am. I forgot that ye little yellow circle. Because I would assume that the salmon would be like uh, down here. Apparently, I'm 47 of 48 something. Da 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 da. Guess we'll climb back up. Maybe head down there to see if we can scout any other fish. And then we'll try to take a picture. If we have a picture of them, we'll be able to. Like, find it better. And also, we got our stamina thing back. Why would we get the temporary stamina thing back? Huh. I guess it's a time thing. Maybe. I don't want to dive. I would assume. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be. Luckily, I have the stamina to just spam my way up. Let me look around. I guess there's like a little bit of water there, so we'll teleport there and see if there's fish there? Probably not. If not, we'll probably try to make our way around. We'll probably have to actually get cl I'll probably have to go like, uh, Cryonis platforming around the basin to try and find one of those salmons. And I guess that's why the, uh, yeah, there's probably gonna be no fish here. Definitely no salmon. Salmon or river, though. Maybe Strock Lake? But again, I feel... Like, either Strock Lake or Hebra Plunge. But I don't see a river. Maybe Hebra Falls? Well, let's head to the lake. I do kind of enjoy that, like, the vast majority of the ingredients can just be bought there. And that, like, even the characters in Universe are like, nobody's selling the fish. I guess that's there to be like, hey, you have to go actually get the fish yourself. You gotta put in the effort. Put in the effort. We've gotta find the fish. In the effort, we've got to find the fish. Hmm. Darn it. I keep hitting that, like, anti-golden zone of run into it and, like, fall off. Now the question is, like, where would the fish be here? They don't see any. Hmm. They can 
always teleport back. Yeah, I don't see any fish. Then again, you the fish would probably be spawned in like an actual place that makes sense. Alright. Maybe Tomapon, but again, salmon are river fish. But then again, this is a fantasy world, so what do I know? I know where one of them is. The girls. She's climbed up the bibbidi ba. I'll take that. Then again, maybe they could have been found here. I'm a fool. I stopped too soon. But we'll head to Hebra's Plunge instead, I guess. Uh, Heading the exact wrong way. So there's probably plenty of places for the Rito children to gather around and hide. Oh, oh it's you. Wow. Let me guess, you've come to see the Divine Beast. Divine Beast? Yeah, it's perched on the village now. It's not moved an inch since it stopped there. I'm surprised the rock up there can support all that weight. It's magic! <laughs> oh, hello there. Oh, Hardy Salmon. Well, that saves me a trip. Thank you, small child. Hiya, hiya! I'm fishing for hardy salmon. Huh? What are you doing here? What, rehearsal? Ah, I totally forgot! I was too focused on catching these fish. Kill's going to kill me. Please take this hardy salmon and go make some salmon miniere for Ginley. Hopefully she'll feel like singing after she has some. <laughs> now I don't have to go anywhere. Again, I could have sworn that salmon do not work that way. But hey, one child. I think there's like five of them. If Keel's already there too, I think I am only missing like the location of one. So it'll be Tabantha Wheat, the Goat Butter, and Hardy Salmon. I will save before I start cooking, because I don't want to run out of salmon. So let's actually count the diddly dees. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Five hammocks for five children. All right, you want your hearty salmon away? Let's see. One Tabantha wheat. One goat butter. One hearty salmon. <laughs> Hardy Salmon Mire. Hurry, hurry! I need Salmon Mire in my belly! That amazing smell, could it be? S -s -s salmon Mire? You're gonna let me have some, right? Right? Enjoy! <laughs> I like that the other option was, no, it's all mine! Yay! Time to dig in. And I'm stuffed. Huh? My promise to my sisters? I suppose I shouldn't break my promise. I really do like singing, but I'm too nervous to sing in front of other people. I have serious stage fright, but maybe practicing with my sisters will help me feel more comfortable. Anyway, thank you for the amazing salmon minure. It was so soft and flaky and delicious. I'll give this rehearsal my all. Come listen later. Of course I will. Alright, the next one is up there. But then I have no idea where the last, last one is. Maybe this one will give me a hint? Hello, we 
we meet again. Like all that song, return to the bird wrangling hero first movement. Thank you for listening. What? Singer her slope warbler's nest? I didn't forget. It's just that Ginley really wanted some salmon manure, so my sisters and I have been looking for ingredients. I finished early, so I was practicing here to kill time. I feel bad we left Keel w waiting, though. I really should head over to rehearsal. What, you already treated Ginley to some salmon manure? Wow, you're amazing! Ginley said she didn't want to sing on an empty stomach, but I think she's hiding a different reason. Well, I'm going to meet up with everyone. See you, see you around. Bye. So let's see. Kill you. Dude, dude, that's four. Because Keel was already there. The one that was there. Maybe if I talk to one of the sisters... Do you know potentially where the other ones are? Ah, the other one might still be at the Slippery Falcon. Did not look in there. There you are. <laughs> yeah, I bought some goat butter. Huh? Rehearsal? Oh, yeah, I forgot. Uh, you already made salmon bonnier for Ginley? Thank you so much. <laughs> Hope Ginley will come to rehearsal now. I'll head over to Warbler's Nest in a bit. Considering they all disappeared, uh, that means Warbler's Nest is open for business. It would be funny if you could do this quest of just a leaf. But I prefer this. I also think I've never done this quest before. I don't remember. At least I don't think so. I she found Keel? She's at Warbler's Nest after all. Phew. She really had me worried. Thank you for letting me know. Please take this for your trouble. Oh, thank you! I feel much better now that I know where she is. Thank you. And I'll go... See to it that their recital goes well. well. I guess it's just like rehearsal. Rehearsal for the recital. Da 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 Hello, adorable color-coded children. Hi. Well, thank you so much. All my sisters are here. Now we can rehearse here at Warbler's Nest. Want to know what song we're singing? Oh. Well, the elder told me. It's a song passed down in the Rito village that was once sung at Warbler's Nest in ancient times. If you didn't know, Warbler's Nest is the big stone platform with the pillars behind us. The lyrics don't make a lot of sense, but there's one line in particular that always catches my ear. When wind convinces the rocks to sing, open the monk's door will swing. What do you think that means? What's a monk? <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. I got you a little something. Just a small thanks for bringing all my sisters here. <laughs> Ta-da! A Korok leaf! Hey, your inventory is overflowing. You should toss any melee items you don't need. <laughs> sure, I'll take it. So you can, actually. But I like it this way. I'll take it. I will take the designated gift-given Korok leaf. And we shall do it. Yes. <laughs> I just swing in the direction of the warbler's nest. It makes a fun noise. Imagine if these rocks were more, like, destroyed. Ah, oh, did I do it wrong? Okay. Gotta line up 
all the all my nope got them actually ah the perfect way to aim do I have to do it like so it's actually four five three one two so four five three one two I presume that's actually a cool like puzzle four That's cool. So technically you could brute force it, but that would take a long time. Wow, hey look guys! Is that weird looking house always there? Oh. Now that's that shrine thing that the other was talking about. Ah. So cool, Luna Warbler's nest was keeping a secret like that. Oh. Let's tell mom. I wonder if it's even possible to oh. do this before this activates. Yeah, let's. <laughs> See you later. Thank you for having your rehearsal. Ah. That's when the mom is an unhatched egg. Ooh. Ready, set, go! <laughs> like, I doubt that, like... I actually doubt that you could brute force it before this, but... In a way, it would be kind of amusing and also kind of sad. Because that's a neat little cutscene. Well, let's head in. More than likely, it'll be a You have done the trial before you came in here. Here is your reward. That's usually how this works. Although, you can never tell. Sometimes they're like, <laughs> Idiot, I desire for you to now actually do more. Of which this is actually looking like it might be a do more. Well, there's a ladder. Let's see. The winding route it, de it desires I do more. <laughs> Playing music for this monk was not enough. It desires... <laughs> what is it? Like, uh... Snake Eater. Delta Supreme. Fight for love, not for honor, but for you, Snake Eater. Alright then. Why would you have this place? Why would you make this? I feel like the ancient Sheikah were capable of destroying Calamity Ganon. They just wanted to torture a legendary hero. This is totally being played on, like, ancient monk afterlife television. All the monks gather in the afterlife and be like, let's watch the legendary hero go through our trials. <laughs> 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 
Of course, you put a flame blade here. I don't really need a flame blade. I have the two-handed version. And I only really use the flame blades. Ah, uh, uh, shit. I'm gonna burn in lava. What fun. Good day, sir. Yeah. Luckily, I am partly immortal. Darn it. I did it again. Why do you have to make it hard just to get out? It is simple jump and shit. Give me elevation. That is all I desire for. I wish I could just double do it. All right, let's try and... There we go, maybe. Have to give a run and start. Because these bastards are sadistic. They, d d they demand the blood of Link. I had to play you a song and go through your devil wipeout course of death. You are one sadistic monk, man. Now give me your orb. Your resourcefulness of doing multiple things for my enjoyment. It means I give you this as payment. And now I guess we'll head uh, back to Rito Village. Make sure there's no other outstanding quests. Make sure the children are doing good. I really like Rito Village. It's just neat. It's a neat little thing. I guess I could just... But I could just teleport. I can teleport midair! Imagine if Link did that in, like, boss fights. Like a Hinox is swinging at him. Ah! Teleport! And the Hinox is just like, Where did he go? Now I'm imagining, like, a world where, uh, Rivali survived, but, like, got rejuvenated, and he's, like, flying Vometo, and so Link, like, teleports to Vometo just to dive bomb his enemies. Guess it is morning. How are you doing, Elder? Oh, champion descendant. A thousand thank you. But never mind that now. I'm happy to answer anything I can. How's Meadow? Divine beast of our meadow. An ancient Sheikah weapon with the power to seal evil. It was once piloted by the Rito champion Ravali. If the air legends are true, the light from the divine beasts will ravage the calamity. For now, Divine Beast Var Meadow will become the protector of this village and live on in legend alongside you. <laughs> Goodbye, dear sir. I just really like this place. It has good vibes to it. How's life treating you? Good evening, Link. Would you like to use our cooking bot? Yes, please. <laughs> I shall cook something, just so to make use of it. Is it improper to cook bird in front of the bird? Could that also be in a way used as like a pickup line? Cook up a, a bird meal, turn to her, just like... Wow, this is one hot bird meal, but I think you're hotter. I guess we'll head to the stable. Because we can, see if there's anything there. And then... I don't know, maybe we'll try to triangulate one of the memories? Could do that. 
Like, triangulate one of the memories, maybe head to Cass's place. Ooh, actually idea. We could go to that one, like, place where Cass's diary is. And, like, uh, ba ba ba. And just wait multiple nights in a row for a blood moon, maybe. Oh, you have a quest for me? Hey! Good morning. You've come at a good time. The Vine Beast Vomito was kicking up a storm just a while ago, but he's calmed down now. Hmm? Mm, did you need something? How are you? How am I? Can't complain, I suppose. Never mind that. Please listen to this. I was out for a walk earlier and I saw a Frost Talus. Frost Talus? Yes, it's a giant monster made of enchanted ice. I was out running an errand when I saw it. It was incredible and terrifying. It was incredibly terrifying. I believe I saw it over at Cold Snap Hollow before my adrenaline kicked in and I fled like the wind. Mm. In any case, it was enormous, but I bet a champion could have taken it down no problem. Cold Snap Hollow. I think I might have actually killed it. Like, somewhere. Because I know I killed a... F oh, wait, no. The Frost Talus I killed was, like, way down here. I think. Right? I killed it. Like, uh... Somewhere around here. I think. Because I think I went, like... Somewhere-ish here. But Cold Snap Hollow. I guess I could actually look at the quest. That's actually a far way away. That's far, far away. Well, you know what? I, I can go there. Sure. <laughs> From YouTube chat, face reveal, please. That's like such a weird request. Why do you desire to know my face? I don't see much reason for it. I don't think I have a good camera. My voice is my better attribute anyway. Maybe add a million subscribers of like any channel of mine. My edited content one. Huh, let's see. Going down there. Hmm. Okay, so maybe if I loop around. <laughs> Fuck, my edited content YouTube channel, streaming channel. Who knows? But I value my facial anonymity. However you pronounce the word, words be hard. Now we will slowly make our way up. Even running doesn't really make a speed change. I wonder if I have to use all of Rivali's Gale to make it start recharging. That'd be an interesting thing. I do not know the mechanics of it. The real question is, what was the guard guy doing all the way up here? I guess they are Rito, they can fly relatively easily, deal with cold pretty well, so coming up this way wouldn't be that hard for them. Go to my bombs instead, so we can just annoy this guy to death. Bomb. Bomb. What? Bomb. He is one of the faster kinds, so he could catch up to me. Haha, <laughs> I sent him throwing down. He'll never catch me. Cold Snap Hollow, is it actually down there? Where in Cold Snap? Ah, it's literally right there. Let's see. 
I have the perfect weapon to smack you with. I am unfreezable. And I am here to kill you. Da 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 da. The real question is, like, uh, how did the stone talus or like the ice talus activate? They're usually hiding. Very rude. Let's see, I guess I'll use the uh, Night Claymore. Your head smashing is a foolish endeavor. Now, smacking me off your head is uh, a better endeavor. But luckily, you can't freeze me, bitch. Let me climb your ass. You are easier to kill than the other one. That had it on its back. Like, ah. Not no damage to me, it seems. That's my weakness. Goodbye. Somehow that knocked me off. Foolish ice taluses. I am the ruler of ice. For I am icy wings. So fuck off. And now we'll make it back. Cause I did it! It was me all along! Da 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 da. I just, I wonder if there's a challenge of trying to climb the Gerudo Tower from the bottom to the top. Like, there has to be. Oh, hey. When I told the village elder that the shrine popped out of the ground, he was so surprised. I guess shrines like playing hide to seek too. That's adorable. They're playing the Rito Village song. Well, I guess singing it more like. Because of what you did, everyone's happy and singing again. Thank you so much. Hey, check it out. I'm practicing my singing. You know, if you didn't go to Kiel, I never would have realized how much I actually like to sing. But thanks to you, I'm having a blast. Fishy, fishy, fish. So how was the inside of that shrine? Were there lots of fish there? Fishless. That's too bad. Maybe all the fish got bored of waiting in there and left. More la 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 -looing. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. The composition you just heard was Return of the Bird Wrangling Hero. Thank you for listening. Am I the Bird Wrangling Hero? Because I did a lot of bird wrangling. <laughs> From YouTube chat. Hey, Neon, I'm going to bed, so good night. Hope you have a nice rest, and thank you for spending so much time with me today. May you have nice dreams. Perhaps Rito dreams of flying through the sky and having a magnificent time. Now let's go tell him we beat up that ice talus. We beat up its ice tuctus. And we can see if there's anything at the stable, probably not. And then maybe try to track down one more memory. Hello there, good warrior. Gessene. Good day. Do you need something? I defeated it. What? You defeated the Frost Talus in Cold Snap Hollow? I never would have thought a Hylian could take down something that big. No offense. Well, that's a relief. If that thing had wandered this way, the entire village would have been in danger. I don't think it would have been able to cross the bridge. And I think it would have melted. It's not much, but I'd like to reward you for your trouble. Thank you very much. I wonder if he'll have anything to say, like, oh, I'm glad that my village is safe. Oh, ah, we meet again. I'm glad to see you in one piece. We're actually very close here, same thing. I leave my wife and children back in the village. I'm sure they're doing just fine, but... Promise? Mm. Yeah, because promise to do something. Oh. 
But we already heard this one. But we will definitely... Oh wait, the, I forget if we've read this rumor mill. Let's read. Great one for you today. Ah, oh, we already read this one. Just wanted to make sure. Well, we definitely need to do more quests for you so you can go home and bang your wife. But I guess to, it's like, ah, we'll try and do this one. Because it's very obviously looking over, like, the tower place over here. But kind of, like, in this area. Like, uh, because it has to, wait, no. Hmm. Because it has to overlook, so maybe, ah, maybe there. Let's go to the tower and try and get that memory! And then maybe next time, we'll try to figure out where other Cass like song quests are. I'll try not to look their locations up and try and figure out them uh, where they are on my own. But we are definitely going to try and get Cass to go home and bang his wife. Because at least I'm fairly certain that it has to be this because it is kind of like the ring with a thing plus with the... Hmm. I'm trying to think. Let me get on top. To really think it through. Let's see. Because the picture is basically looking directly at the river. So it is actually... Kind of that way. Well, up we go! Maybe up on that cliff, or maybe all the way up? I don't know. I am not a cartographer! But I'm gonna try and climb up there, find that memory. Because I don't think I've ever done this memory before. Because it's way, way above, with a rocky, like, look to it. Looking directly at the river. So maybe it could be right up that mountain. My goal is to do all the memories. Duel all of uh, Cass's quests. Uh, let me see. Yeah, more to left, so it could be you. No. Could it? It could actually be this mountain. Uh, it could actually be you. has to be like a rocky place. Hmm. Close. But it could be uh, up there actually. We're getting kind of close to Goron land. I've never been to Goron City, so that'll be an interesting one to do. Yeah, that's... 
So it feels more like... Hmm... Trying to think... This is kind of it, but more... More to the left. So, like, up here, this kind of landscape. Uh, please don't make me burn. Because I know the closer we get into Goron land, the more things burn. So, yeah, probably up here? Maybe up there instead. Just more to the left. Looking directly at the river with a bit of view of the forest. I don't need you, photo man. Oh darn it, I should have had my Sheikah stuff on. You're all a bunch of fire taluses, aren't you? Knew it. It hit me with its flying body. But I got a ruby for my troubles. Uh, so maybe it's actually higher up. Which means we could burn. Because it's a look at the diddly D. I think we're getting close. Maybe. Unless we have to go way, way up. You stop that. How dare you have both fire and water abilities. That's not a Pokemon typing. I will kill you with your own weapon for your hubris. Yeah, 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 yeah. I am burning. I forgot that it could do that. Right after I mocked it for doing that. I wonder if Red Lizalfo Tail does anything. Nope. It would be neat if it had, like, firepower. Hmm. Let's take a look at the thing again. Hmm. It's almost because the, the pond is in line with the river. But it's, like, visible. Oh, screw off, Skelly. Go away. <laughs> oh, I forgot that we can't drop that one. Smack with your own weapon. Hmm. Hmm, so we might actually need to get closer. Because we actually seem to be a bit far away. Uh, now it's getting too dark to goddamn see. 
Maybe down here? No, because it has to be like... It seems more to the left. Because it needs the right composition of... Seeing the forest from the right as the lake, like, tower place, or actually... No, because that does line up with the tower place, is then in line with the river, with Hyrule Castle to the left. It's kind of this, but kind of not. It's like that. That's kind of in the way. Hmm. I'm just trying to think. Unless we have to go all the way up that mountain. That could be it, maybe. No, could it? It might... I don't know, might as well try just to see. Here, I thought this would be easy. We just line things up properly. And then if we go too deep in, I start to burn alive. That's one thing I do remember from my past. You go deep in, you burn. Burn to the ground! We're already close to the flames. I'd rather not use, like, any... Like, stop burning elixirs. I will, actually, we could spend a bit more time. We could probably... I see you, you evil dragon. But if we spend a bit more time out, like another day, it should be a blood moon. Then we could go do that shrine quest. Which is basically become a nudist under a blood moon. Only at this specific spot. I mean, I do have that bonus ring. Darn it. It's a little bit more. Thank you, Rito Village. Ah. So maybe it was actually down here? Just a little bit less... Like, less up there, more down there, maybe. But then it feels like it's too close. It's all a matter of perspective, really. But it feels, like, closer... I have to go far to the left, but, like, be closer. Like, this feels damn close. Like, to where I need to be. But the perspective's off. Uh, 
Oh, bugger off. Bugger off times two, electric boogaloo. Because with this, the Hyrule Castle does kind of have to be kind of to the left. And we have to see the trees like more left, more up, but not too far up. I am determined to get this memory. I guess I could maybe try and go to... Try and find that one guy. Oh, it should be nearby. This is damn close. Like I swear. We are near it. I fucking feel it. Maybe it's up you. Yeah, I think we're getting there. Darn. Might be it. Ah, this has to be it. Huh. Or, like, nearby. Right? Like, I feel like this is almost perfect. To a degree. Ah, there it is. It's somewhere around here. A little... Ah, da, da, because it's here. Gotcha. It was all about going more to the left. Give me that memory to send us off. My cut doesn't oh, look too bad. Dead actually. Lionel. You're fine for now. Yeesh. But you know there's well, a, that's a white line mage Lionel. courage and recklessness. How much of a badass was Link? As brave as you are, that does not make you immortal. It seems that. Not only this is basically the proves that age of calamity of is rise, canon. But the scale of beasts we are facing is intensifying as well. I fear that... I fear that this is an omen which portends the return of Calamity Ganon. And, if that's the case, I'm ready to expect the worst. We'll need to make preparations as soon as possible. The ominous music was playing there. <laughs> that leaves only two more memories. One that'll be hard to get because it's right up on... At least I presume that's Hyrule Castle. I guess maybe that could... No, that has to be a... Uh... Like, right? It has to be Hyrule Castle. I presume. Then this. This one will be a little bit harder. But I think that that is... Like... Over here? Maybe? Because it's like looking at it? Like, actually, let me look. So, like, more... Oh, actually... It could 
actually be over here. Well, not, maybe not over here, but like over here because you can kind of see the moat, but even the, but it feels like it's going up. Hmm. So actually, no, I think it would have to be. Yeah, because we have all this stuff and like Castle Town, so. I would assume that it would be kind of this area. Maybe even here. Looking at it side on. But that's a thing to try and do next time. Who knows? Maybe we'll even try to invade Hyrule Castle slightly. Like, not to go after Ganon, but like... Try and find that memory. Like, honestly, it might just be there. Because it looks to be like a little bridge thing. So that would extra work out extra well if it was like... Uh, but at the same time, we'd have to be kind of far away. Hmm. But we're going to come here. Because... I feel like we are nearing a blood moon. And if we near a blood moon, we should be able to do another cast quest. So we're going to end our stream at Cass's diary place. Well, first things first, uh... Go ahead and take that away. Place a pin. To let me know where I'm going. Oh, Son Princesses, we'll pick you up. We'll get as high as we can and then leap for Cass's place. And then, hopefully, it'll be a blood moon tonight, because we were... The sun, or like the sun, the moon was very, like, very full, but not a full moon. Last I saw. Which means that we are very, very nearby. The time to come. <laughs> Guess he's gotten old in reference to Link not being as badass as he once was. Probably. That's why he has to become unold through the power of taking monk power. be naked on that pedestal down there. And I am fairly certain that tonight should be a blood moon night. But I do believe that that shall be it for now. We did a lot. We freed Rito Village, did a lot of quests, did a few shrines. We also, uh, I'm trying to think, there was another thing. Could have sworn. Because we beat up uh, Vom Meadow, got Ravali's Gale. Things just have gone well. Hello, Frosh. Always run into you. Yeah, really, really, really liking this game. Next time, we'll probably begin trying to force the Blood Moon to happen. 
so we can do the diddly D. Then we'll check out Cass's, like, uh, diary to try and pinpoint what other places he might show up so we can do as many of his quests as possible. While also talking to him, because that's part of the fun of doing quests involving Cass. And uh, then next time, if we do all that, we might also try to do those other memories. Because I swear I feel like that memory is like somewhere over here. And if it is, then we can just try to go on in and get to this point, because I could swear that that's where the memory is. And that's another one that I've definitely never done. Because that requires going into Hyrule. Hyrule Castle Land. But yeah, next time, it'll be trying to do cast quests, memories, and then if we do all of them, we're going to head in to the Gerudo Valley. And do like Va Naboris, I think it is, if possible. But yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed what you saw, I try to stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time at my YouTube and streaming Twitch channels. And if you want other things from me, all that I do can be found in my link tree, which is a direct link in the various bios, descriptions, and link places of the sites, or directly with linktr.ee slash neonicywings. In there, you can find links to my edited YouTube content channel. I swear content will come eventually. My streaming YouTube or Twitch, depending on your preference, with all these streams going up on the YouTube for quality purposes. And if you want to see more, like my little character in the corner or in Slate, I upload art to various social medias and art sites. And I also write a bit and throw those stories up onto various writing sites, also linked in there. And finally, in my link tree is my Patreon, a glorified donation bucket for the extraordinarily kind. But yes, but yes, thank you for very much for watching, everybody. Just remember, be you, be true, be happy. But most importantly, be kind, stay hydrated, and thank you for spending your time with me. Bye, bye. <laughs>